Welcome back to the Chill Spot. It's your boy B Rax, and I got my co host with me. What's that word, gang? A Rod. What's that word, gang? Come on, man. CSN. CSN, man. What we doing? Hey, man. CSN. Wait, hold, hold on. Hold on. We got some old people in the building. Who, who, yeah, who, we who got, you got? Hold on. Hold on. We got a few more people in the who, building. You get what I'm who saying? Who that women hop out? <laughs> 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 this nigga starting with the bullshit already. I'm gonna let I'm gonna let my guests introduce themselves. Go ahead and introduce yourself, sweetheart. I'm Jade. Jade, Jade, welcome to the chill spot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've been we gonna roll out the we, red carpet. We got some folks on the guest cam. We're gonna, we gonna roll Who out we the red carpet. The What's good with y'all? What's good with y'all? You got returning guests. Returning yeah. guests. I had to come back and Real, Reappearing. Niggas, Solid nigga in the building. For sure. You know. Appreciate it. Teal. And another sure. returning guest. <laughs> yes, sir. And another Ooh, and another, another returning guest. guest. Y'all already know it's your boy CEO Vaughn in the building. Dude. Big Vaughn. Big Vaughn. Big Vaughn. Big Vaughn. Big Vaughn. Big Vaughn. Be clear. <laughs> <laughs> you you might have turned me down. And nigga already lit. <laughs> Alright. So, what's up, y'all? How y'all feeling? I thank y'all for coming out. What's up? Man, I appreciate everybody for coming out tonight, man. Welcome to another episode of Chill Spot News with your boy B-Rats, man. How's everybody feeling tonight? Never better. Never better. I like that. I like that. Shit, okay, I'm let's go around good. the room. Let's go around the room. I'm feeling good. I was, I was, I knew today is Saturday. I'm, I was going to be at the crib, so my boy B-Rats was like, yo, what you doing this Saturday? Pull up. I'm like, Cause I would have been in the crib, bored as shit. I need nah, nigga, your ass would have been screaming, nigga. Your ass would have been on that game. Right. You would have been on that modern warfare right now. Right, I get that. Oh, shit, God. I probably would have been at the restaurant. You know what I'm saying? To be honest with you. What restaurant? What restaurant? Home granny. Rewind. You know what I'm saying? Got the restaurant out there. We just opened up in Stone Mountain. Okay, okay. shout out to that. Are, yeah, shout out yeah. to that. Yeah. Shout out to that. Good eats. Good drinks. I thought your ass was just talking about going to eat somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, this is business. This is business. You got to right. check out the spot. Man. Yeah, no, nah, I'm definitely, we there. definitely coming to check out the spot, man. Yeah, for sure. Chill for Spot sure, Eats, sure. man. Chill Spot Eats. We on the way. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, we yes, on the way. Yes, sir. Yes, that sir. That shit sound fire, actually, yo. Chill Spot Eats. I got a little ring to it. Got a little ring to it. You did what I'm saying? Put that on a shirt. Bro, you you did what I'm saying? Shit like that, though. Shit, that's that could be a segment. See, that's one thing about like, the chill spot, niggas. We open to all suggestions, so chill spot eats could be a segment on the pod. Like that could be a different uh, stream of revenue. That could be a different channel. You have your own. Like, let's say you got a restaurant too, though. Chill spot eats. You, after you know, niggas smoke or niggas just chilling, be like, yo, let's go hit the chill spot. Type Get shit. Some food. Type shit. Man, shout out to the chill spot, man. Shout Y'all know out to the chill on, spot, man. man. It's the, the chill, chill spot. spot CSN news, man. How many times I gotta tell y'all? I'm looking into the camera, so y'all know. <laughs> CSN tonight, man. Mondays and Saturdays. Mondays and Saturdays. Chill spot news. Y'all know what time it is. All right, man. Let's get right to it, man. Y'all know what we doing a chill spot, man. We talk about our, everything that everybody's already talking about on social media. We talk about everything that we'll talk about. If we sitting here smoking a blunt or playing 2K or some shit like that. So we're going to jump right into it, man. First topic on the board, Boosie and Tootie Raw. Mm. So Boosie, and I, I, I feel Boosie on this one. He basically is telling Tootie Raw, like, Bro, you need to uh, take them shiesty masks off. You know what I'm saying? Like, it gives a, a negative connotation. Like, it makes somebody look at you a certain type of way. And, like, you Boosie's son. So, you know, Boosie's saying, like, nigga, you didn't, you seen me do certain shit, but you yourself didn't grow up like that. So, you know, you need sure. to kind of dial it back a little bit. Man, that like, that, that sounds very familiar to uh, T.I. and King, ain't it? And mm. Michael, Michael Irvin and his son. Michael Irvin did, did the same yeah. thing. Remember, he went on national TV and told everybody his son ain't like they grew up in the gated community. Oh, shit. So how we feel about like a parent publicly like out in a child? You get what I'm saying? I wouldn't say I wouldn't say outing. I just feel like it. I mean, it's it the truth, bro. Like, yeah, I mean, nobody would want to like that, but you supposed to want better for your kids. Like, I I talk to my dad all the time. Like, I talk I talk to my pops all the time. Like, you know, my, my pops make good money, but I'm like, I'm gonna make more than you. And then he don't say he be like, I Man, want you but, to make more. You supposed to be. But see, so look you, at you, it. you want like. You know, you Man, want you want your it. kids to do better than you did in any aspect. Yeah, but look at it from a parent point of view, though, gang. Like, and I'm a parent, so I'm speaking from a parent point of view. If I raise you up a certain way, and I bust my ass, and I go through my trials and tribulation to make sure you don't have to go through the same shit that I went through, and then you grow up, and now you putting out this, uh, you you know what I'm saying? Like you putting out this image of some shit that I didn't raise. You feel me? As a parent, 
that's gonna make especially when the kid is grown now and we can have this conversation like nigga i didn't raise you like that game like mm -hmm. why are you doing all that you get what i'm saying yes, like yeah. it, it's it, i feel like it come from a different perspective and i don't have a child that old so you feel me like my jet not into the type of shit that tootie raw in but like we know what's going on with tootie bro like he posted all on the internet like he say he trapping he doing this he doing that you get what i'm saying it's like bro boosie saying like you ain't, you ain't gotta do that like you you seen me doing that but nigga, i'm not even doing that now so mm -hmm. why is you you know what i'm saying like trying to use that persona that your daddy had back in the day now to create some type of person like you ain't got to do all that you gonna ruin your life gang and i feel like that's what boosie's trying to tell him i ain't gonna lie to you bro if i was in like <clears throat> if i was in like boosie's position I myself, I'd be like, yo, what you doing, bro? Like, I grinded my whole life to get you here so that way you can do some other shit. Like, like it's cool to know about the street and, like, know about, like, our and cultural shit. And let's be fair to Tootie, too, because, like, nigga, we seen Tootie this whole time growing up. Like, Boosie, nigga, we seen Tootie on live I, when he was a little baby. Like, nigga, Boosie yeah. was thugging, nigga, guns out. We nigga all tight. Tootie was right there, but he was a baby. You get what I'm saying? So right. that's what I'm saying. Boosie like, did raise him like that, but Boosie just saying like nigga, you didn't actually have to do anything, nigga. Like you just a product of of but me. What, what if but, he just want to do it? But like, the, but he got to like, like he just he a grown do man it. He too. Grown man. He grown like, man. Put he me grown in the man. field. It's my turn. I think he got to you know. Yeah. Like I'll support his business and shit. Be like yo. I got the money for us. Now I want you to, you know, get more money oh, than me. Well, how you, you know, know he got something going on? What if he sell weed? He just a trapper. He can't support like that. He just a trapper. But it's, him, uh, it's, think that's what that's Boosie's trying to say. Issue. Yeah, that's Boosie's trying issue. to say, I don't want you to be a trapper. Yeah, I want you to be Boosie like issue. different. But what, right? How I feel, I'm a mom. So yeah. how I kind of feel is you kind of got to like let the kids you gotta let them pick. go through what they want to go through. Like once you hit middle school, y'all know how crucial middle school was. It was crucial. I don't care what nobody say. I figured out who I was in middle school. I fought a lot in middle school. Like, and I got from like this pretty girl fighting. You was fighting? I was yes. definitely say that. You was in that bitch scrapping? Like literally from like sixth grade to 10th grade. Where, you, I was in where you in the middle school? Is you from Atlanta? Uh, I'm not from Atlanta. I'm from outside of Atlanta, but I went to Campbell. I'm from Cobb. Okay. So okay. I went to Campbell Middle and Campbell High, but I graduated from Marietta. When did I you go to, when did you go to, what year did you go to Campbell Middle? Shit, I don't know. I was in middle school. I graduated in 2014, so that oh, helped you out. Okay, yeah. So you, so you was a little. I know I only yeah, asked because I, I went to Campbell Middle for a little bit. That's why I was asking. Yeah, no, I've but been, you're a little bit younger than me, so I've been. Wait, you a year older than me? Yeah, but y'all was in school at the same time, right? Yeah, like you. Yeah, probably but was like I was. Yeah, huh? That's what I'm saying. Like I was in. I went to Campbell Middle School. It was like 2006. That's what I'm saying. So I don't know what. If year you gra I, I graduated in 2012. So if you graduated in 14, oh, 14 yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying. So well, you probably, I was. I was fighting a lot. Yeah. Like I got kicked out of Campbell. I had to go to uh, Central. Shout out to Central. That's so terrible. Who yep. was you fighting? Oh my! Like, you was fighting for because like I don't know, and I'm like I was not grown up like raised that way my dad is black my mom is arab so i just was not raised that oh, way to that's, fight. that's a nice mix yeah. wow that's a crazy mix a, so you just I, I so you just that's turned, a crazy mix so you just turned into a brawler one day what happened? well okay or somebody so was just I'm, trying you you okay. had to stand on business i really like I, I just call myself black because my mom's side they don't deal with black people Arab oh, is black. Shit. Yeah. They only deal yeah, with it Arabs. Is, it is. Arab they is are black. very like particular on who you date and stuff. I know what she yeah. means too, but Arab and so is like black. we like this on. Um, I'm like the black sheep. We the black weird. sheep. Mm. So hold on now, because like, they be on some different shit. Yeah, I know. I ain't I know gonna lie. There's a lot about. There's a lot about the Arab culture that I don't know about. So like, can you tell me about a little bit about like. On that side of the family, yeah. like things well, I'll that tell you know you about I know. Arab women. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so okay, so basically with my mom, um, they were supposed to like pick her husband, you know, like oh, choose wow. who she's they gonna do the marry. Because marriages. like like mm -hmm. they're they like setting you up marriages. for success success, pretty much. Mm -hmm. Um but in, Yeah, but <laughs> instead, like they come from Ramallah and when they came from Ramallah for some strange reason, they ended up in Birmingham, Alabama. Oh and y'all know what's in Birmingham. Nothing uh, shit. Some niggas. Yeah. Some niggas. And that's it. And that's, that's it. it. So I here I go. Else. We black and mild. So that way you from. So you from Birmingham, Alabama. Roll Tide Road. Roll Tide Shout out to Nick Saban. Shout out to Nick Saban. Roll Tide. Shout out to Birmingham. That where Goo out from. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's just like attitude. I don't know. But so maybe the child just feeling like that. 
I ain't gonna or say. do you think it maybe it have just been like just the the culture shock and just the difference? You know what I'm saying? And like you kind of feeling like you got to prove yourself. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, definitely. Because like, I've been yourself. put in different situations, especially growing up, to where like okay, I'm I'm the outsider. You get what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. all these people over here, they've been growing up with each other forever. Like yeah. I'm just not pulling up, so I might gotta prove myself to these folks. You get what I'm saying? Like well, when you growing up, that's kind of the mentality. Him. Yeah, they definitely you know trying saying? him. Like oh, you ain't this. You ain't that. Or just you not like, or just like you not from here. Yeah, you and get he what like, I'm saying? No, like, I am that. Do you know who my daddy is? Yeah. That's how shit it is. Like that. So shit I'm like not that. gonna blame um him for you know trying to stand for his name. That's what he's doing. He's standing for his name, his daddy name. How y'all feel? No? I don't I don't, that I don't right. know. That but right. I don't stand no, for definitely. that. I whoop my I got, kid. I got kind of a different opinion on that. Okay. All right, what's I'm your say, what's your I'm opinion? I'm gonna say like I feel where Boozy coming from because I got a son. So if I'm a millionaire, right? Why the fuck would I want you selling weed or like? Why would I want you in the streets? Well, where, yeah, where do just, he just live? To be where do he live? Where do the child live? In the gated, in, in, at the Boosie nice, Estates. At the Boosie nice Estates. Community. Boosie got a whole estate built. He don't got to worry about no no Boosie lights built, turning right. off. He don't got to worry about Listen. water bill. Hey, he got Wi Fi. He got a cell got phone. You know okay, but guess so what? He, he grew he grew up off his daddy music. So listen. So he I, listens to that. He likes in this in this in this instance. I'm with Boosie as well because I have a son as well and. I'm making sure I'm doing everything I can that my son don't have to do the things that I have to that I had to do to get to where I'm at today. So yeah, like I would feel some type of way too if my son growed up in this nice abode that I've created for him. Facts. And then now all of a sudden, all of a sudden too, because it's like yeah, you was around this shit, nigga, but you wasn't doing this. Like ain't no all I mean, of a sudden. Feel, ain't I no f- all of a sudden. I feel like what y'all coming from. He, I have a son too. First of all, why mm-hmm. y'all talking about? I got a son. Me too. <laughs> me too. Me the fuck too. Okay. I have a son no, too. Gotta be clear. We have yeah. to be clear. Yeah, yeah me too. Clear. But I have a son too, and I have a lot of things going. And guess what? So you what's know, your so what's your stance on it? Do you feel like? No, I just feel like so just because you, okay. Boozy g- gave that to him does not mean that's what he's. No, he don't so let me see ask it. you. He so let me just clearly, ask you a that's question. That's how he know about so it. So let me just ask you a question. So, do you feel like? Do you feel like Tootie Raw is in the right for? thugging and just doing like what he want to do like do you feel like it's okay for him to do that i'm not going to say he's in the right but he wants to explore that's what kids do until they figure out but he's not a kid no more tootie like 21 now so he's so he playing with grown man games he basically he basically yeah he's a grown man like if he get locked up right now he already got locked up him and king got locked up together and they went to grown-up jail like they grown Mm -hmm. now so now we playing with like you being a felon, nigga. You fucking up your you fucking up you ain't got no kids yet. Do you fucking up your whole life trajectory before you even have children to provide for and you don't have to do this? I mean that's true what you she, get what I'm saying? I get true. what she's saying that's too. True. I just want her to, to I, I'm kinda to, confused. I thought we she, I feel like I feel we like all agree. Like, like, no, but she said, because she's I'm saying kidding. that she 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 would rather her child basically Explore and do what they need oh, to do I mean, in order to be. No, I'm not saying person. I would rather, but no. that's what kids are it, going to do. Yeah, you know, look, I literally example. just went to my yeah. my homegirl mama house. She she not my homegirl. She my ex little sister. He passed away, and mm. she's like 21. Wait, literally, and she just fought. Little sister. He's my ex boyfriend. Little sister. He died when and like, oh, when ex-boyfriend. I graduated. Okay. So he been dead for like 10 years for real. So like I'm like they literally she just fought her mama earlier today. I'm there getting my edges touched up. I'm just trying to get my edges touched up. You know what I'm saying? I had a mm-hmm. photo shoot today. She literally fought her mom. She fin she 20. She finna be 21. And like literally, it's like the same thing. So, same, you know. I be trying to put her on game. Hey, this is life. She I think still have her own though. aspect of life. No, people. No, but I think I think it's a little different. And I only think it's a little different because like see in a situation like that, that's like you you. That's some domestic shit. That's like me and my mom bumping heads and we disagreeing on some shit and shit might have just got out of hand. What Boosie is saying is like, nigga, you're leaving home and going oh. out of your way to be in the streets. Well, you leave home and doing things that you don't need to be doing. See, y'all I don't ain't, think y'all ain't say that at first. If you leave home, take your ass home. No, no, no. When <laughs> I say when I say leave home, no. When I say leave home, like you still live here, but you're leaving the crib. To go do illegal shit, cause bro, Boosie built the whole estate. Mm-hmm. Remember, he got a whole estate, he so do. he got he got a main house. This then the everybody else at. got yeah. Then everybody else okay. got a house. Like he got like a hundred acres, bro. Like he got a whole estate. So he's saying like 
Bro, bro is leaving Atlanta, that big ass estate they got, and going back to Baton Rouge to go trap. I don't know. That, that's that's where Boosie is at with it. He like, bro, why are you doing that? It'll be some. Don't, it'll be something completely different. Don't if, make no goddamn bro, sense. Bro, it'll be something completely different if it was on some shit like nigga, you in some local Atlanta shit. You just serving your homeboy some little three fives and sevens and shit. Boosie saying like, nigga, you going back to Baton Rouge, nigga, and dropping off peas like like you the plug allegedly because i'm not trying to accuse anybody allegedly of allegedly. allegedly but this is what boosie <laughs> has been talking but, about but well, hold up where he getting these peas from that's what i'm saying he okay. taking his daddy money he taking the money that he's been raised with that his daddy been giving him allowance his savings account because he grown now so you know boosie got trust and all that shit set up and shit so now you grown so now you starting to so. touch the money but instead of you taking the money and going and starting you a podcast or starting you a record label or doing some shit like this, you going back to Baton this Rouge to go try son. to trap peas. Yeah, this is oldest okay, son. Okay. Oh, this, this the, the oldest. This the first baby. Yeah, this is Tootie. This, this is the first baby. Example. Tootie done Come seen some now. shit. Tootie, yeah, Tootie. Been through and some that's shit. what and that and that's the point. That's that's the whole point of what I'm you saying. You said it best. He done been through some shit. You don't blame. No, 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 we're not but no, Tootie. no, no. But this Tootie is what, over Boosie. No, Tootie listen, over Boosie. Listen, this is what Boosie. This is what Boosie is saying. Tootie over Boosie is crazy. This is what this is what Boosie is saying though. I'm on the key. I'm on to the side this is what mm. boosie is saying though it's like yeah nigga you was i raised you a certain way and boosie has apologized for it publicly like bro i raised you a certain way where the mama at? i had you around certain shit <laughs> but you didn't have to go through this certain shit you That's did you true. wasn't actually doing it where i was mama? doing it so you didn't have to do it so that that's where I feel from a father's standpoint what boosie is saying i did all of this so you didn't have to do it Yes, mama. I made the accident of showing you this shit, but nigga, you wasn't involved in none of this. Where and the then mama? now, all of a sudden, you an adult, and now, now you trying to be trap lord out of nowhere. And it's like, bro, you ain't never even... Man, because he listened to the loose as a goose, don't get me started. He was there. <laughs> he was like, that's he was it. there. Pull that boozy he was like, loose as a goose. that boozy set. And, and, that's what, and, that's what, and that's why I feel like as a father, Boosie is trying to make his point. He's admitting to doing that and saying, bro, listen, I fucked up by showing you that. And now I'm trying to explain to you Period. why this is wrong. He like, that's just that him blood. being a father, bro. <laughs> that's just him being a father. Let back that motherfucking That's sunroof. just him being a father, gang. Yeah. Yeah. That's him taking accountability and being a father and saying, look, I showed you some fucked up shit, but nigga, you wasn't involved in none of that. I just showed it to you. So now you trying to pretend to be somebody you not, and you need to stop before you fuck your life up That's like true. I did. That's true. Tootie like this, that Boosie shit. Boosie spent damn near 10 to... years on death row. Boosie did eight years on death row. They was about to kill that nigga. <laughs> so imagine you being... Going through that, seeing that, overcoming that, and then now turn around and see your son doing the same dumb shit you was doing, going down the same path. You gonna feel away and you gonna try to get to him whichever way you can. Yeah. Okay. That's all I'm saying. I I get what Boosie is. I get where he coming from. So they said Boosie. I said Tootie. So next, what's next? What's topic. next? Yeah, next topic. topic. This nigga, uh, DJ, DJ Academics. Academics. girlfriend steals 500K. Mm. Might have to pull that one so up. So this story, yeah, this story was kind of crazy. Uh, that nigga, Act, was telling the story on, um, he got a new podcast that he got with uh, some people from the chat. They done started a podcast. Him, Troy Ave be on there and all type of shit like that. But basically, he was saying at one point in his life when he had the ex-girlfriend he was with, uh, he had like a million dollars cash in the crib because he gambled a lot. You know, when you win gambling, they pay you cash, gang. Like, mm -hmm. it ain't like a credit or no. They don't give you no car. They give you cash, nigga. Here you go. So he said he was gambling a lot. At one point, he had a million dollars cash at the crib. You get what I'm saying? And um, at some point, him and the girl broke up. After him and the girl broke up, he went to go count the bread and realized like half a million dollars was gone. Oh, you don't have to count the note. You can see you that. Can see that shit. Fuck what? that. Well, he said it was in safes. If, if it's, it's in different safes around the crib, she over time figured out how to get oh, into so each slowly safe by slowly. slowly by slowly. And then when they finally yeah, broke up, he he says the way he found out is like they they was going through shit over time. They ended up breaking up. He bought a money counter and went to go use the money counter, and that's when he found out like damn, like nigga, half a million of this shit gone. 
Mm. You get what I'm saying? That's fucked up. Y'all want to take a shot? A shot of clock? Shot of clock. Yeah. It's, all, it's always shot of clock when Man. the guest when the guest want to take a shot. It's, it's always, always shot, shot of clock. Yeah. I'm gonna turn y'all up. Turn us up. Oh then. yeah. Turn us up then. Okay. How, how, how y'all feeling over in the guest section? <laughs> Chilling. I'm chilling. I'm feeling good. Go ahead and pull the shots lie, up. Bro. Let's get them shots pulled up. You taking a shot, eh? Come on, eh? All right, let's get it. You <laughs> taking a shot? Oh, he got it. He got he never turned down a shot. See, that's crazy, though. Oh, damn. K, I didn't drink my shot. I'm always oh, no, 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 no. Uh, You got to drink that and then and the next one. Okay. Well, cheers. Bro, 500k is crazy though. Two units, please, like, please don't, we back please on, don't get yo. rid of it. I want it so bad. So what are we doing? What, what? Shot of clock, man. Shot of clock at the chill spot. What are we doing? Man. What are we doing? Period. Shot of clock at the what chill. What we doing? Spot. I need to see everybody cuts. Shot of clock at the chill spot, man. Ooh. Okay. Go back to okay. the main cam. Shot of clock at the chill spot. Y'all know what's going on. Air. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Every take, section, take y'all shot. Take, Main take. cam, take y'all shot. Uh, mm. Ma'am, ma'am. Uh, damn, <laughs> y'all caught me. Yeah, the pressure yeah. is on. Yeah, go ahead and take it. There we go. Guess cam. Y'all took y'all? <laughs> hey. Heavy on the burn. Okay. God damn. Okay. <sighs> All right, man. Let's move right along. Let's move, move right, right along. along. Thoughts and prayers. Thoughts and prayers. Thoughts and prayers to everybody involved, man. Uh, <laughs> let's move right on along. Uh, we got something special coming up for y'all in a few, so we gonna keep an eye on that. You know what I'm saying? Y'all will uh, see it when it's time for that. We gonna get right to the next one. We gonna get best right to album of the year. How y'all feel about it? Nah, we we gonna save that to the end of the show. We gonna okay. save that All to right. the end. We gonna save All that right. to the end. That Charleston. Let's White. get to yeah. Let's get back to the news, man. Let's get to uh Charleston White walked out on an interview. Pull up on this um, video. Yeah, right let's down. pull this up. Let's pull this up. Go to uh <laughs> go to Hollywood Unlock. Uh, yeah, just go to Hollywood Unlock. Go to Jason Lee shit. Uh, it's right there. Yeah. So uh, what basically what happened? Charleston White went to <laughs> one of these one of these um you know when they do like the twenty women versus one man. It was the nigga unghetto shit. I forget what the name of their shit is called. But basically he went up there and it was supposed to be like twenty women. Versus <laughs> White. Um, go back, bro. Uh, let me introduce it real yeah. quick. Yeah. Okay. So it was supposed to be uh Charleston White and versus twenty women. And then they had the nigga uh, Shamar pull up. The Shamar nigga, the, the little disabled gay trans nigga. And that was one of the 20 women. And Charleston White snapped and walked out of the interview. I'm not going to lie. You try me like that. Like, that shit was corny, bro. Like, even if you, don't, if you don't fuck with Charleston White, just don't have him on your platform. <laughs> All right. Let's I watch, actually let's met watch Shamar, video. though, y'all. Bro. That's cool. Like, yeah, it's no, it's no hate. It's no station. hate towards Shamar. It's <laughs> no hate towards Shamar. That nigga homeless at first, bro. That nigga yeah, I met him. I, he used to roam the streets down. It's no, it's no Damn, hate towards Shamar. See, I met him Shemar. in, like, the Vinus area, He from out here? I mean, that's, I, that's where I seen him at in the Vinus area. I only assumed, like, that, like kind of Smyrna, you know, Smyrna, Atlanta. I seen him downtown. Possibly. I don't know. There's no hate towards him. I just, like, you but know what I I'm saying? But I fuck with like, Shamar. Ain't no Shamar shame around here. Let's play no, this video. Yeah, we not shame. It's just like, bro, like, if I pull up to do one thing and you just, like, throw some extra shit like that in there, you ain't like, that's not professional, bro. Well, let's just put this out there. Shamar, <laughs> a real ass bitch. Ass, bro. She said a real ass I mean, he a real ass on, nigga. On, on, on Ma- <laughs> not, not Shamar, on Matthew. Nah, because if I swing on you, then I'm going to void my contract. Just like he said in the video that we about to watch. Nigga, you voided your contract. This ain't. This is not what's in the paperwork. I don't even. I don't have to swing on you, bro. You still gotta pay me for this. You fuck. You breached the contract. You still got to pay me. So, nigga, I'm gonna make a scene. I'm gonna get some more content. I'm gonna storm up out this motherfucker, and you still gotta get my back in. Fuck, nigga. What you mean? That's weird, bro. Like, that's weird, gang. Don't do no weird ass shit like that to me. Mm. Not to me. All right, let's play the video, bro. Let's make sure we on the right cam. We are. 
All right, go back. Us in the corner. Yes, sir. Oh, no, baby. He said interview over. He don't play like that. Go full screen. Full screen on the. On oh, no, nah, hit the next slide. My bad. This is where the nigga Unghetto come in the video. Right? Man said jacked up funky. That's crazy. Yo. The contract is void, nigga. That's right. What, he, what the fuck he supposed to say? He said yeah. his boy. Yeah. Look, they go, they go, they go unghetto right there. Look. So he talking, he talking directly to unghetto. It's his channel. It's his yeah, channel. That's yeah, him. that's him. Like, yeah, like, yeah, like, nigga, what the now fuck is this? Feel? Now how y'all feel? That's what I'm saying. I feel Charleston White on this shit, bro. Like, don't try me. Don't try me. He, he All right, that's the end no of choice. it. Yeah, uh -uh, that's the end no. of it. Mm -mm, but I'm yeah, I mean, like, what he was supposed to do, bro? Like, you got mm. this weird ass shit going on. Press main view. Okay, yeah. he even said like weird ass. Oh no, he said like disabled ass. What he said? He, uh, funky, funky body punk or something. Yeah. Like that. Okay. Like. Okay. I, like I but said. But he no, said that. Hey, he no said. He hey. said. He said, nigga, I'm about to get the gay bashing in this motherfucker. Y'all got me fucked up. Yeah. Like, y'all have him fucked up. I ain't mad I ain't at Charleston White though. He. I'm he not did mad at him for that. Charleston one. White treaded lightly though. He chose his words very strategically he really, though. Yeah. Like, he I really, ain't mad at. Yeah. Based on the shit I seen about him, the, his older. Because what y'all would have did? Yeah. What y'all would have did? What you would have yeah. did? Oh, nah, shit. I don't know. I'd have been able to. I, man, I'd have probably wanted. I fight. definitely would have left out. Hit. I definitely would have left out. Um, if I if I know all, all if I'm I know say, my money involved, bro. If I know my money involved in this shit, then like, yeah, like nigga, I'm a, I'm gonna have to just do what he did. Like nigga, like I said, what I'm, I'm gonna say I'm is gonna, uh, I'm gonna make a scene, and I'm gonna um. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to have to make a scene, but I'm going to have to say something, bro. Like, Thanks. And this shit going to have to be documented. The same way y'all tried me, bro, this shit going to have to be documented. So I'm going to have to turn up, make a scene, make sure it's known what's going on in this shit. Mm -hmm. And then, nigga, we... Because, see, at this point, bro, we got contracts involved. This not just no, like, no nigga on the street doing pranks and shit like that. Like, no, nigga, we got... It's well, money, it's money funny, involved though. in this. They was trying to be No, funny. but if that's not in the contract, if this wasn't wrote up as no 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 comedy skit, this was wrote up as 20 women coming on to talk and then you do some shit like that. Nah, gang, you breached the contract. Well, what about y'all? How y'all feel? I feel like if I was him, honestly, I'd be I'd be low key pissed. I'd be like, "Bro, what the fuck?" On, but it's like at the end of the day, if you leave it's still gonna be content for them. If you stay, it's gonna be content for them. That's cool. But and like, you're not contract, into that so shit. I'm still yeah. getting paid. I'm it's still like I'm still gonna get paid because you know what I'm here for. You told me what was on the contract. I pulled up. You did some other shit, and I was like, no matter how I react, you still gonna get some content. So you still gonna pay me. Yeah. I'm gonna get some content too, though. That's the thing. I'm gonna get some content too. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna have the video of me bucking on you. That's why I say I'm gonna cause a scene because I'm gonna get some content out this shit too. And you gonna have to give me my back end. Well, he said it in the video. He said I need my back end. So if, that means he I got a front out, end already. You if gave I him a out, deposit. Don't send me that. Why would you? Why would you pay a nigga a deposit to come and do some shit? And then they pull up, and then you just try to switch the whole shit and do some weird shit. If you I, locked in at that point. If I trip out, please don't send me that content. Just hold that one down. Nah, I'm, I'm putting that shit <laughs> All I'm going to say, they was looking for a viral moment. They know what they was doing, and they got it. Well, they got like, the viral yeah, moment. They got a, okay, they, so what do y'all expect? Like, that's why, you okay. know, I don't even like the They, they, okay. they tried so, him, but okay. as, as okay. him, as a YouTube okay. as a YouTube channel, he, sure. he got they what got he was paid. looking for. He tried but him, and this, he, yeah. But this is where, he, he this, this is where the issue come in with these content creating ass you niggas. You created this viral moment, right? You got what you wanted out the shit. 
But now, how many niggas is not going to fuck with you moving forward because niggas see that you on some weird nigga shit? You just cut yourself out hella business to get one viral moment. For what? Like, I could have been a reoccurring nigga. Cause like, Speaking of Mike. Like, like, let's say everything went good. You, none of that funny shit happened. I could have been a reoccurring guest, you know, do different episodes. We ain't even got to do the 20 women type shit. We could do different shit. But the fact that you, like, played me and, like, you ain't even tell me, like, yo, this shit finna happen. I'm still going to get paid regardless because no matter my reaction, you still going to get money from that. Yeah, and that's a fact. But now other people is going to be looking at you like, nigga, this nigga weird as fuck. Wait, this like, in Atlanta? This happened, like, they be doing that in Atlanta? Uh, I think Unghetto is an L.A. nigga. If I'm not mistaken, okay. they, he from L.A. Okay. I thought this was in Atlanta. It might it might have happened in Atlanta, but I'm saying the nigga that did it, the nigga Unghetto, he's like a West Coast nigga. Oh. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It might it might have been filmed in Atlanta, you know? Mm-hmm. But that that was just some weird ass shit, bro. Like you you fucking your business up, gang. Like imagine if I invited y'all niggas to this podcast to come and sit and do this, and then it was like some whole different shit to humiliate you niggas. Yeah. How the fuck would y'all uh, feel, bro? What, what the I fuck you got going on, man? <laughs> How would y'all feel? I'm asking. He got what people from the probably, alphabet community probably, in here. I probably look at Aaron you crazy. I'm like, bro, what you got going that's on? That's what I'm bro? saying. Yeah, like, yeah. that's what I'm saying. I'm so not. You, I'm not mad at Charleston White. I'm not mad at him. And he actually he traded lightly with with how he used no, his. No, I'm, I'm not. Yeah. I'm not mad at Charleston White. Oh. I'm just saying, like, I'm, I'm just speaking on the, the yeah. situation. Yeah, I would have felt just like, bro. Honestly, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm agreeing with. Yeah. I'm agreeing yeah. with Charleston yeah. White in this instance. Like, in this instance, you real quick, real quick. I know this gonna be no, off topic, but back to that star people shit. Y'all really believe in that though? Like that shit really got me because I'm like for astrology, the zodiac signs and shit. I oh, I don't shit. know how that. I was thinking like what, bro? Nigga, what the fuck? Well, I believe in it a little hey, bit, man. not all the way. Everybody is who they is, but hey, I. Yeah. I believe it a little bit. I just that told nigga you who he was. Nigga rewinded this about thirty minutes. No, I'm fucking with you. It's a good nah, topic. It's a good topic. I'm just because I no, I was just thinking. It's like, bro, that shit is really like, like I said, it's how you act. It's how you act. It don't matter what month you was born. You could be born in June. I could be born in May, and like I said, we could have the same traits. And it's like, that's just you as a person. It's not because oh, you was born in this time. Woody woo. A lot of that shit got to do with um, um. A lot of that shit got to do with like how you were raised more than anything. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. It's not. Yeah, a lot of that shit more so got to do with like how you was brought up when you was a child, um, your mannerisms, your uh, like the people that say yes sir, no sir. You know, I'm one of them. I was raised up to you know tell adults yes sir, no sir, yes ma'am. They no, think ma'am. that like they take that shit offensive now. They yeah, like, not nowadays. Oh, that's weird. That's I've been slavery. seeing that. I'm yeah, like, what? I was like nah. That's how I was raised. But Man. but you know you know I noticed a lot of that mentality started happening when a lot of people from like up north started moving down here. You know that's some southern hospitality shit. Everybody not as cool as we is. You get what I'm that saying? That is like, true. That when is you true. go up north, bro, like niggas not saying good morning, niggas no. not holding no doors for you, niggas no. not. Do- that's yeah. some no. down south shit. Up north, so everything is I feel moving like, fast. I feel furious. like a lot of people migrated down south, and that whole yes, ma'am, no, ma'am, is slavery. That whole bullshit. That's not some southern shit because no. we d- we don't do it on no slavery shit. Bro. No, it's out of respect. It's out of respect. Nobody, I've never heard of. But that's just yes, like sir, no, sir, on some slavery look, shit. Look, that's, that's just like manners. That's just like that's just like the whole like honey, sweetheart. Beautiful. I even say that's some downside shit. But people from up north, they, they move down here. The and they way. start complaining the to the jobs and shit like that. So I now the jobs is saying, "Oh, you can't say." But down here, like nigga, that just like saying, "What's up, nigga?" <laughs> nah, <I always laughs> you feel me? I like mean, it's the same thing. But I always go to like Indiana. They give me a hard yeah. time in Indiana. I'm yeah. like, I way. always go like, I always go up the way. They always give me such a hard time, and they always hella like. I I don't give a. F- I travel a lot. No places like Atlanta. Ain't no place like home. Shout out Atlanta. Shout out Atlanta. Ain't no place like home, man. Shout out Atlanta. Shout out to Damn, nigga. Where I'm from. I don't give a fuck. Shout out to that that but it's not for the week. If you coming out here from Texas, like, stay your ass at home. Like, don't come here. Don't come here. Oh, if you from Why here, is he sending shots here. at Texas? She I'm said if you from Texas. Not even Texas, Florida. Like, I'm throwing shots. Okay, okay, no. Record skip. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, 
I don't know which one that is. <laughs> no, because like people be trying not to go. Florida to, now. Don't no, go on Florida no, 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 now. No, no, no. Don't go on Florida now. People like to move to Georgia, and Georgia people like to move to Florida. Don't go on Florida now. Facts. That's facts. Florida and Georgia down there the same thing. We just talk to Nah, that shit. That's uh, that's a, that's, uh, that shit. That's I, a I different. I want to move to that's Miami. a stress, B Rex. That shit. That's Florida, different. y'all know y'all niggas a little different. I, I know you from here, but hold your on. Fam, nah, so, it yo. depend on what part of Florida you from. Cause South Florida, nigga, West Palm Beach down is a, that's a whole different state. I'm gonna keep it up. Then like Ocala, Orlando, Tampa. That that's different. Yeah. When okay. we talking about from West Palm down. That's a nigga. Listen, I'm trying to don't tell y'all. Don't go to South Florida, y'all. Bro, hold on. Nigga, hold go on, to South. On, yeah, on, well, we on, be in South. Hold on. Don't go on South. I'm going to keep it tall with you. I be there I'm going to keep it tall with you. I'm going to keep it tall with you. That nigga's, I'm going to keep it tall. It don't even matter where you go in Florida. Y'all where niggas, this country is hell. Where you from? New York, of course. Duh, nigga. What the fuck? This nigga just said. Hold on. Give me the man. Give me the man. This nigga just said the most obvious shit ever in history. Ever like, to be I'll, said. I feel like if you from Florida, you country. Now nah, I feel like duh, Georgia, nigga. I feel like Georgia, yeah, country. Florida. You don't get Georgia, Georgia, you don't get more Florida, country than country. Florida. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, no y'all niggas country, bro. Country, like the duh, swag, duh, nigga. The swag is different. But that's sexy though. Like, they sexy. Duh, though. nigga. They sexy though. We that's the whole point. That, that's the whole. That's the whole. Point. You could go to Florida and that nigga can still be but rocking But we like them New York sure. niggas too. Y'all nah, niggas, no. You'll, you'll see a nigga rocking Jabos in Atlanta before you see a nigga rocking Jabos in Florida. Hell you'll no. see, yeah, no, nigga, see. what you'll see in Florida, and you'll see a nigga with some jean shorts and some Tims on, for sure. <laughs> you'll see that down in Miami, for sure. That's, that's Jabos, nice, you will see Jabos in Atlanta before you see yeah, Jabos. I'd rather the Jabos than the Tims and the... um. Tim's in uh, some Gene Shorts, John Cena. I see. I don't know. I don't know because I'm a John Cena. That's crazy. I guess it depends on what you look like. Man, I fuck my whole family (laughs) from Florida. Gang, I I fuck with Florida, nigga. I be in Florida, nigga. I be I be in Miami. I be in Fort Lauderdale. I be in Hollywood. I nigga. I be uh, nigga. I be in Dana Beach. I be in Tampa. I be all through that (laughs) bitch. Let's do Miami this summer. What we doing? What's up, man? Yo, Florida. Who let the Zabs? Wait, wait. So, 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 so you familiar with the Haitians? Yeah, I went. I've been to Haiti. Man, sock up fit Z. Sock up for me. Sock by say. Not bullet. Not bullet. Sock up. Sack up fit. Sack up fit, boss. Boss la. Yeah. Boss la. Sack up fit, boss la. I've been to Haiti. Oh, you've been to Haiti? Yeah, I was to Haiti. What part? What part of Haiti? I'm surprised. I was to Cap Haitian. Wow. Yeah, I was the cap Haitian. I'm not gonna lie. I'm oh, they almost kidnapped me out there. No cap. They tried to kidnap me out there. I ain't even gonna lie to oh, y'all. Oh, you you for sure. The the man kept telling like kept saying, Oh, this my sister. My wait, I'm like the lightest person out there though. And they you thought know, you was they thought you was Dominican. For sure. No. Probably so. Yo, no, they, no, they, no, thought, they thought you was Dominican. Yeah, they, they were trying to kidnap me out there. They them niggas, bro, them them Haitian seniors said, Oh, but I actually went with my, hey, uh, my Aaron, Haitian said, friends, and so Dominicano? I had a good time. <laughs> one, more, one more time. One more time. Who? Them boys in Haiti. Yo, when I was out Jun, there. Juno Dominicano? Uh, Juno Dominicano? <laughs> like, them boys. <laughs> Juno Dominicano? <laughs> what? They thought I was Dominican, because we be in all shit. Right, and I they didn't... are darker shades and all of that. No, Dominican people fine as fuck. Like, what? <laughs> fine. Very fine. Like, <laughs> for real. Well... I never been to Haiti, but I've been to Hispaniola. Ha- Haiti and Well, y- if you Haitian, yeah, you yeah. should go where you from. Correct. That nigga a yank. <laughs> 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 so, all right. So, Haiti and DR, they share the same island. It mm-hmm. was, and it's called Hispaniola, the whole island. Yeah. So, I don't believe in Haiti and DR. I, just, I believe in Hispaniola. Right. Anyway, so, you know what I'm saying? I've been to yeah. the island, but I was on the DR side, but I would like to go to Haiti. But My Haitians for my yeah. birthday that just passed, they did not want to come with me to DR. They said no because it's something going on right now. And it's I, always. Yeah, it's, it's and they been like, going on they like very upset. Like, no, we are they wanted me to go to Haiti for my birthday and I just didn't want to go to Haiti because I just I'm scared to get kidnapped so I'm like I ain't going so to Haiti so I'm not even me there's a big um, misconception like Haiti does have a lot of crazy things going on with the politics um, unfortunately but that's like in the capital but places like mm-hmm. you know 
Yeah, Cap-Haitian, I want the cap. But yeah, I mean, like and, and when cool, it yeah. rained, like we couldn't get to the city. There were no roads at all. Mm-hmm. When we came in from the airport, straight trash. Like straight trash. The whole beach was straight trash. Like it was trash. It just like made me feel like. All I got to do is get five niggas to come out here. We going to clean this bitch up. That's how I felt. Honestly, no yeah, cap. Um, it rained, and they're like, you couldn't get to the roads. When I finally did get to the roads, I'm driving up a cliff. I'm like, like, get me home, because <laughs> I was so scared. No yeah. cap. There's a lot of history, you know, that, and this is a whole nother conversation, but there's a lot of history into why Haiti is, why it's like today. I don't even know how we got on Haiti. Wait, what? What year did you go? Mm. I went last year in May. I really like um, no, that's no, in March. Up. Yeah, I just went, went recently. Actually, that's my footage up. is great as fuck, and they love me out there. No cap, I had an entourage. <laughs> I'm, I'm already knowing. I swear to God, I had an entourage. I know them, them niggas. And in DR playing. though. Yeah, for sure. So you, when you went to Haiti, you just you drove to the DR type shit. No, I went to D. I went to Haiti like um, I flew. Only Spirit go out there. No cap, like that was a rough Ooh, ride. Shit, we no not cap. Fucking with them zoes. Them guess <laughs> what? But guess what? Like I actually hang around real zoes. They go back home all the time. They give back and shit. And I'm with them. Like you know, y'all want? I got extra clothes and shit. I'm, I'll give back too. I whatever, whatever. Not so. not to like interrupt, but like the whole Spirit shit. I feel like there's nothing wrong with spirit. Nothing's wrong nigga, with spirit. Nigga, spirit is so man, plain. Fuck spirit. You just have to pay nah, for your I bag. Feel, uh, nigga, like, man, yeah, fuck but like all folks that be gang. talking about spirit, no, like no, it's a no, bad no, shit. No. And I be like, bro, if you nah. want to fly spirit, fly spirit. Who nah, man, no cap. I flew I'm not um, lie to, to DR. You, it was the cheap. Like I could have flew Delta. It was like seven fifty. I nigga, flew listen. for two hundred dollars on Frontier to DR. Guess what? I was knocked the fuck out. You feel me? Like, I I'm was, on the plane. I'm I going to bed. I was knocked the fuck like, out. I'm huh? going straight to bed. I don't I, really care about the plane ride. Take if I feel bag. some bumps and shit, you're going to feel bumps on every single plane you go on. Big like, facts. At the end of the day. And I'm going to wake up every single fucking if time. You're going to wake up at Just your destination. Just take this bag. and See, only thing, they don't got snacks. That's my thing. Where the snacks at? Shit, I don't be eating I snacks on the plane. Yeah. I'm like, where the snacks at? But no, I feel spirit. like nothing wrong with spirit, but you know it's Delta though. You, fuck know? you gotta go Delta. Hello. I'm sorry. I got I'm money, spirit. but I still I still do cheap shit. Ain't nothing wrong with spirit. What's, What's the name? name? This, this my, my boy, boy Milk Seven Four man. man. We gonna let we gonna let we gonna let my boy introduce himself, man. First of all, we appreciate you for taking the time out to come on this chill spot, man. Um, go go ahead and introduce yourself, man. Let everybody know who we got with us. No, no, I'm just, um, no, it's it's Bill TV. TV. When you talk, like, shout, shout out, out hey, can we get some more for that game? Can, can we get some more? It's, it's Bill TV. Can we get... All right, All right my, my boy. So, so I ain't gonna lie, bro. I kinda, I did my research. I don't know if you can see. I did my research. I got a whole book of shit. I got, I got a whole bunch of shit. shit. We, we ain't gotta, gotta get to all of it. We, we, you know, know what I'm saying? saying? Like, we, I, I just gotta, gotta, I just, just wanna let you know I've done my research, research before we came on this shit. You get what, what I'm saying? saying? So, so, yeah, yeah, you know, so, so um, I wanna, I wanna just ask, ask you a couple of questions, questions, man. Let's start off with, um, I seen something that said you was adopted at seven days old. <laughs> seven, seven days, days is crazy. Can you, can you tell us, you know, like a little bit about that? Um, yeah, I got adopted at seven days old. Um, the lady who birthed me, I guess she was on drugs. And, um, yeah, she had me at, at the hospital and they kept me. And seven days later, I got adopted. Damn. Damn. Okay. okay. This, this is out, out in, in LA? LA? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 So, so you from, you from the Hoops? This, this is known, known right? right? Yeah, I can, I can say, say that. that. That's, that's not. That's not true. I can say that, right? I mean, yeah, I don't really like. Yeah. Okay. 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 So can, can you tell, you tell me about, about that? Like, like growing up in the Hoopers, you know what, you know what I'm saying? saying? Obviously, Obviously bro, like we go ahead and just address the elephant in the room. You're a white, you're a white man. man. You know what, you know what I'm saying? saying? You grew up in LA. LA. You know what, you know what I'm saying? I'm not taking anything away from you, but obviously, like that created some type of conflict with you. Um, growing, growing up, up so, so can you just tell, tell me about, about like growing up, up in the Hoovers, you know what I'm saying? saying? Like, like coming, coming from, from the background that you come from. Um, I mean, I just didn't grow up in the Hoovers. Uh, I got adopted at seven days old to a lady, um, who already had kids. She was up in age. She, when she adopted me, she probably was already like maybe in her late forties, 
Maybe Wait, she possibly like like late forties. She already had like five kids. Was she white so, or black? No, nah, she was black. And, okay, uh, okay. Okay. So, so at seven, seven years old, old you got adopted by a black, black woman. Yeah, I didn't go to no like foster home or or like no foster care or nothing like that. I got adopted, uh, so I got her last name and everything like that. Okay. And, uh, yeah, I lived everywhere in LA pretty much, like wow. everybody else. Like you just bounced around pretty much in the beginning. Okay. And uh, I was everywhere for a little bit of a little bit of time when I was younger. But um, I jumped off the porch before I, before the Hoovers came into play. Okay. okay. Like so I got jumped off the porch. Huh? So you, so you, you was, was already, already outside. outside. Yeah, yeah. What kind, what of, kind stuff of stuff was you getting into? into? Young? I mean, yeah, I was yeah. doing all type of shit, bro. Like, regular shit. Like, we moved on 53rd and Dinker. Um, That was a bad area at the time. Like, a real bad area. Wow. Like, four or five different hoods, like, on each or, on, on, on each cross street. Like, it was crazy, bro. Um, the dude Crib Mac, his little section is in that area, but... Uh, Okay. I was in all type of shit. Hey, that, hey, that, hey, was, that was one of the questions that was coming, that was coming up. up. Hey, I, 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 I want to keep it kind of upgrade. You get what I'm saying? Because it's, it's a lot of bullshit, bullshit that we can just, just jump right into, bro. But I actually, I actually like, like your content, content, bro. I actually follow your page. I've been following your page back when you was Gilead Slayer before you changed the name of it and everything. You get what I'm saying? So I just kind of want to get to know Milky. Just a little milk is before we get to. You know, you know the, the, the obvious, obvious questions, questions that, that we, we want to ask, bro. bro. I, just I just want to kind of get, get to know who you are. are. Yo, 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 you know what I mean? Milk, Milk, Jay, 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 Okay, my guest host, Jay. My guest host, Jay, she has a question for you, gang. Hey, Milk. Okay. I'm Jay. How you doing? I'm good. How about yourself? I'm never better. Um, so, okay. Just have a question, you know? Like, are you trying to be better? Yeah, that's pretty much all I, I didn't dealt with. You like okay, 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 Milk. I think uh, y'all got to understand who Milk is. Yeah. yeah. No, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I mean, I've been, in a relationship. I've been in a relationship for the past, like, eight years, and it's with a black woman. Okay, okay, okay. Milk, okay. 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 can you hear the sound effects? Yeah. Yeah. So, so have you been with both, you know, a white girl and a black, and a black girl? Or just no, I never, black girl. I never really been with a white girl because I never really was around them. Okay. Um, yeah. I mean, I, I've been with like uh, Mexican, Honduran, okay. something like that, but never like a well, white well, who, who girl. Who treat, not who to, be, you to be honest. Who treats you better? Oh, oh shit. shit. <laughs> well, because I've never been around them, like, never. Well, no, I'm just saying, like, as far as, you know, who treats you better? Like, what do you prefer? Hispanic, Hispanic or, you know, white or black. black. What, what do you prefer? prefer? She, 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 his woman is black. black. Yeah, black. <laughs> I mean, I've, been, I've, been, I've been with her for like almost 10 years. So. Oh, okay, she gonna yeah. down. No, it's, it's stuff with them other girls that I'm like, nah, I just couldn't like, um, really be with them like that. Okay, okay, I got a question. question. <laughs> so, 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 since we, so, so since we went down, down this, this, this avenue, this, this, this wasn't one of my questions, but since, since you're here, I got a question. So, so do, you do you ever feel, feel like, like any, any type, type of looks, looks or, or any type, type of, like, uh, maybe, maybe prejudices, prejudices or something like that, like when you out with your girl or something, girl or something like that? that? Like, or yeah. is, it like is it, like, all cool? cool? Nah, hell nah. Like, it depends where I'm at. It depends. Like, it depends. Like, it, say if we go somewhere and we probably ain't dressed all the way up or we, they probably think we going in there to do Lord knows what. If right. we go somewhere else and I got other people looking at me funny, but I don't really be paying attention to that shit, to be honest. Yeah, yeah that's, that's really like, 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 you, I was just going out against something. something. So, so you, you ain't, ain't even looking at it like that. Yeah, yeah, but like that, that has happened before though. I ain't even gonna yeah, lie yeah. to you. Like I said, we could be going in the store, bro. And um, they'll probably think we're going in there to do something. I don't know. It'd be all type of weird like, shit. Like, like, go if it's, when we going to go get apartments, all type of shit, bro. No, yeah, that's, that's crazy. crazy, bro. So, so I, I want to kind of get back, back to growing, growing up, up, man. Um, you, you in LA, LA on Figaro, Figaro and all, and all that. that. Um, um, I, I seen, seen somewhere, somewhere that you said that, that you was with one of your homies, homies that actually got killed outside of the store, and you was there when it happened. Is that true? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Is that, is that something, something yeah. that you can talk about? Is that something that you, you know, you're comfortable with, with telling, telling that story? story? Yeah, I mean, I, that shit ain't nothing really. Um, that was later on in life, but uh, yeah, it was one of my homies. Well, it, it was like kind of like my cousin homie type shit, but uh, it was the day after his birthday, and me and one of my other homeboys were standing in front of the store like we always do every day. Never an issue. Um, besides like the police and something like that, but never really no issues. But this day, it was just weird. And um, yeah, we were standing in front of there and uh, one of my homies said, look, that little like Hartman. And that's a, a, a homicide detective. He used to be like a regular police. Then he moved up, then he moved up, then he moved up. But um, he used to drive in the unmarked cars and it was a Buick Century. And um, he said that looked like Hartman, so we like, okay, that's fucking. But he ain't really tripping off us. He on some other shit. But I guess the car turned back around and um, shit, they got out and they was able to walk up. And uh, shit, we got caught slipping real bad, <laughs> and, like yeah. real bad. I think but it was I crazy seen, though. Like it, I, I think it I just, seen you said something, something like it was about, about seventy shots, shots fired. fired. Yeah, people think I'm exaggerating, but a lot of people in LA around that time was broke. Like they, they probably didn't even know what extended was and shit like that. And people was having it, but yeah, yeah, yeah. it was like seventy shots, broad daylight, like four o'clock in the evening. Damn. Damn. And then and it, 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 it was one, one famous shot, shot that, that took you home. Yeah, one. Damn. Damn. And, 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 and you, you were there to witness it, like, like when, when this was going, was going on, on, like. like what, what was, was he feeling? feeling? You get what, you get what I'm saying? saying? Like, was it just like a trend of him? Like, I get a body here? Or was it like, like damn, like, like, where my homies at? at? Like, like what, what, what was your initial, initial thought, thought when this happened? happened? No, I wasn't thinking, like, where my homies at? I mean, like, hell no, nah, because nobody was right there. But, um, yeah, no, nah, the thing was, like, what what we going to do? That was just the main thing, because we caught. Like, we wow. caught. Like, it's no, I'm not going to let them just get... Like in, in distance, like in uh, in like and striking, and striking distance. distance, yeah, and striking distance of me. Yeah, but yeah. I'm not about to let that happen. And then they they be able to just smoke me that easy. But yeah, bro, they walked up and um, I told him I'm like, bro, like when they get to that parking lot, we got a break. I mean, it was crazy though because before that, the police came and like jumped out like three times, uh, came by three times, said lift your shirt up and shit. But uh. It was crazy. I really feel like they was working with with some people to um to pull up on us to get us off that corner. But yeah, they pulled up, walked up, and shot like seventy times. When when they got up, I seen them. I mean, we couldn't do nothing. They was already like right there. Yeah, um, was up on yeah. yeah she was like, "What are we gonna do? Just I'm, I'm like that it. tough. I'm gonna just let them walk up on me and be like, yeah, I'm right here.' Boom, boom, boom." No, 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 no. And see, that's, that's what a lot of people get. get. You know what, you know what I'm saying? saying? A lot of people get that and screw where they like, like, oh, this, this person, person didn't react. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we, we were supposed, supposed to not like, like no, no, you, you never, never really understand, understand until you're in, in that, that situation, situation when, when it happened, it happened, happened so, so fast, fast, bro. Like, you got, you in like a real ride or die, like, split second situation where you got to make a decision right now. And when, and when you in that, that heat of the moment, moment you, you never, never know, know what that decision is going to be. be. That's, That's why it's called heat of the moment. You get what, you what I'm saying? saying? Now, now, some, some people, people take it and do some dishonorable shit, shit, and some, some people take it and do the honorable shit. shit. That's, That's when you, you know, know the difference between, between boys, boys and men. Yeah, but we just, like, we we got caught bad. Like, real. We had shit, but it wasn't on us. It was it was too far. It was like, by the time I could get across the street, because I broke. And then when I look back, he had just started breaking. So he kind of yeah. like didn't break fast enough. Yeah, and, um, yeah, 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 when he yeah, ran yeah, into yeah. the middle of the street, he became an open target. Yeah, While yeah. I ran that, it was like trucks and cars parked. You went you into shit some like cover. That. You went you into some cover. cover. It was able to uh, uh, to like hit a fence real fast. But yeah, he got hit one time, bro. They uh, shot, boom, 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 boom. And a truck almost hit him like because a lady was turning the corner as they were shooting it and crashed. Almost hit them, but yeah, they, they got away or whatever. But um, yeah, that was crazy. I ain't even gonna lie to you. That was like crazy. Damn, Damn man, I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, sorry for your loss. You know, I just wanna 
Get people to understand, man, because I do think that you misunderstood. You know what I'm saying? I do want people to understand, like, you come from this type of background. You know what I'm saying? Like, this ain't like no act. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's not like... Like, like those six, six nine, nine situations where, where you just pull up and you just pretend to be some shit. Like, like you, you actually been through, through some shit, shit and seen some shit. shit. You get you what I'm saying? saying? So, I don't, I don't really understand, understand that, you know, a lot, a lot of people, people trying to discredit you, you, you know? know? So, but let, let's, let's move right along, man. man. So, let's get to a little bit of shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Let's start at the beginning. You know I didn't know how you met Adam 22. So, from my understanding, it was... House, house phone, phone that was, was kind of bridge, bridge between, between you and Adam 22. Is that, that correct, correct or am I just, just talking, talking shit? shit? I mean, I guess. I, I don't know if I would say that. I mean, they was talking about me um, on one of them episodes like they did early on. They were saying something about uh, I forgot what it was. They were saying something about like a reaction I did or or maybe I forgot what it was, but they said something and I made a reaction video and I'm like, if y'all gonna say something, whatever, you know, y'all need to bring me up there and then we can talk about it or whatever. We can uh you know. And um they ended up bringing me. But I was kicking up right. dust, like I was kicking up dust, so maybe House Phone showed him a video. I don't know. And by, and by the way, <clears throat> it's possible. And by, and by the way, way before, before any, any other the link up, the way that we link and everything like that, I, I saw, saw your video. video. I, saw I saw your interview, interview with, with No Jumper. Jumper. Like, like when, it, when, it, when it came, came out. out. I remember about No Jumper for a long time. You know what I'm saying? And I and thought, I thought it, was it was a dope fucking interview. interview. So, so I was, I was like, like thoroughly confused when I seen the fallout. You know what I'm saying? So I'm basically trying to get to like, where does that happen? Where does the fallout happen? How did we meet Adam? How did y'all end up like getting into this? Few you that's, that's now, now spilled, spilled over, over to you, you and everybody else. Um, like I said, I said something. They was talking about what I said. I forgot what it was. Um, it could have been be. It could have been been me. It was probably a reaction, or it could it could have even been me saying the N word or. It was something I really don't remember what it was. But I was you a while said ago, that but I don't on the episode. I, you, you, I you said, said the N word on, on the episode with, with Adam, Adam and AD. AD. No, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, I said it on air with them. Yeah, yeah. It, was it was you, you Adam, Adam and AD. And at one, one point in the episode, episode, you said real, real quick, quick. You was, was talking. They were asking you about you saying the N word. And then oh, that was point, probably, yeah, like, like, it, it, it was real, real quick. But my point is like you said it on the episode in front of AD with Adam. And well, that was probably that. That I think that maybe that was how I got on there in the first place. Cause maybe they were saying something about that, and I think I did a reaction, and then they seen it, and then next thing I know, they called me and said, "Come do an interview." At that time, right. I was like barely fresh. I wasn't that fresh, but I probably had like almost seventeen thousand subscribers. Okay. And um, I just went and did an interview, bro. It was cool or whatever, but yeah. yeah. Um, so then, so what then what just because I don't do an interview, the interview was Gucci, though. The interview was Gucci, like, like it was no tension in the interview. You know, you know what they put out. out. Like, the like, the interview was Gucci, bro. I watched the whole thing from the back. Like, that was all good and everything. Yeah, I mean, you know, I mean, I guess that I don't really know what to take from it. It was cool, but like, I don't know, like, right after, like, right after he did mine, he uploaded C Max. So that okay. was like weird, but I didn't really care about that. But that started okay. like my okay. subscribers and shit to really like start like sending me shit. And then it just kind of like escalated from there, bro. Um, Cause and I ain't never looked back. Cause C-Mac got that, 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 that very controversial, controversial tattoo, tattoo on his forehead. Was, was, was that that yeah, like kind of yeah, that was kind of like weirder, like, because he was like, yeah, we cool and shit. Okay, I don't care about you doing the content, but I didn't even know what he was doing. He only interviewed me in the first place because I was doing these reaction videos and he figured like, oh, if I interview him, then we'll get him to talk about these people. But, um, and then, I don't know, it was just weird, but I didn't really trip off him interviewing a dude like that. That wasn't really the issue. It was just a whole bunch of other shit. But yeah. as it escalated, people started sending me all type of shit, like old clips and videos, tweets. Um, yeah, like old Instagram posts and, and Twitter posts, all type of weird shit with like 
crazy tweets and shit. So, so I don't know, like bro. Shady, you feel like, like, like some shady, shady shit? shit? With him? Yeah. yeah. What, like my interview? Or just no, like, 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 like in general, general. Like, like when you say you go to the Twitter page, page when you say you go to, you know, you know start, start seeing these different social media posts and like, like you, know you know how they do with the media, bro, when they, when they, they do like, like different hashtags nah, and things post. like that. No, it was, no, it was his post that they were sending me. It was old posts, yeah, old posts of Adam. Yeah. Take a shot. Like old posts. No, like saying shit about like, how... All type of crazy shit about kids and just weird shit, bro. Like, I don't know. I, I don't even really remember that shit, but it was crazy. Like, uh, tell all the high, high school girls to stop liking my pictures because I'm already tempted as it is. And, oh, shit. Like, crazy shit. Um, yeah, wild shit, bro. Like, um, yeah. all type of jokes. I got it. I'm trying to remember all of, like, the different ones. But it was a lot of crazy shit enough for me to be like, hold on. Like, and then you weird. start, and then I start figuring out. They send me shit where he lost a deal with Atlantic. You yeah, gotta yeah. deal with them to find like rappers and shit. But um, a girl came out and said that he had um <coughs> met her when she was underage, flew out to Canada, and at that time somebody had sent me a picture of him like on a bed with a blunt and a pizza. Oh, nah, a, pe- a slice of pizza and, and the, the cover, the blankets is like childish. Like, this is a I give like my like young daughter or some shit. It's just weird, bro. Uh, and then the pizza yeah, that was, is with that pizza gate. Yeah. But then the girl come out and say uh, he flew to Canada somewhere where I think it's like legal at 16 and then to have sex with her or something, bro. So, and he lost a deal over that. And you know they did the investigation and whatever they found, it was just too much for them, bro. So. What the fuck? Yeah, I mean, it's a lot of shit, bro. Like, it's, he did that shit with his wife to get the attention off of everything yeah, else, that, bro. Yeah, that, that actually was... That, that was going to be one of my questions, man. Like, how, how do you feel about uh, the Adam22 um, and OnlyFans with his wife? And, you know, they just did the show. After they did the shit with Jason Love, they just did a whole fucking, like, reality show on YouTube where the next nigga won and was able to... Pop Adam wife this time with Adam, and I'm not judging nobody, bro. You know if that's they bag, about. that's they bag. But I, I just want to get like your opinion on What's that whole name? ordeal. Theo, like you said, uh, I mean that that shit nasty, bro. To me, I ain't doing that shit with my you wife, bro. He let his up. girl get ran up in right after they got married and came up off their honeymoon. But he had to do that shit to keep that channel relevant and floating. You think yeah, so? Yeah, I, cause yeah. I'm not yeah. gonna lie. Like I said, bro, I'm a no jumper fan, so I'm not trying to bash them or nothing, bro. But you know, I, I do want to get your opinion on this. I, I I feel like they did go through a whole change, like you know when AD and House Phone and everybody left, and I do feel like a lot of that shit was kind of weird, and you know with some funny shit going on in the mix of that. But like at the same time. The new cast that they replaced it with, it was rough in the beginning, you know, with Flacco getting spit on and all that extra shit they had going on, uh, you know, uh, people fighting up there and all the extra shit. But I feel like they kind of had a little soft landing. So you don't you don't think that No Jumper is is doing what they were doing at one point, or you don't you don't think that they going What you think? Somebody about no sent Jumper? me somebody sent me a clip where he just did he interviewed somebody, uh, Adam Twelve. And we call him Adam Sixteen Two. I coined him that. Come on, That's man. For the what, shit, you call what, he, him? what he was doing? What you call him? Well, allegedly or whatever they want to say, but um, uh, nah, bro. I, somebody sent me an interview. He did an interview with like a rapper. I forgot the rapper name, but it only had like twenty thousand views in like three days, bro. That's horrible for a channel. With was it a popular rapper though? Subscriber. Or was it not a popular rapper? It was a popular rapper, probably, but it don't even matter. They can have a popular rap- rapper, and it still ain't going to do nothing. Yeah, you think so? It's not. Yeah, you, he got to have Sharp yelling at a woman, sitting next to no, Crip no, Mac, no. or <laughs> with somebody. It got to be something like that, bro. Well, well Crip Mac got to do So what you think happens now, now with Crip Mac being locked up? But what? How, 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 how do you, how do you, how do you oh, how do you, how do you feel, feel about Chris Mack? Like, like, how, how do you feel, feel about Chris Mack saying that Adam 22, 22 should be show up with his body? Do you think that was fair? You know what I'm saying? Like, he already had 
interviews lined up and everything like that. Like, we can't be scared of this. And he didn't show up because he had his interviews lined up. Nah, realistically, like, that that ain't fair, Loki. Not if you tell him, like, like a day before. Yeah. Nah, even two days before, like. Yeah, yeah that, that, that's, that's, that's weird. That if if China Man was on his shit and uh, Crib Mac wouldn't have never got caught with that shit or even been walking like that. Because when he was with the other goofy dude that came out of nowhere, uh, the big buff security guard, he wasn't really going down like that. You know? Um, I don't trust China Mac anyway, bro. I don't, I don't trust him at all. And he had that age when his father turned, stayed on everybody. He had, he had that age. Yeah. He's at that same age. Well, he in that age group is when his father turned, you know, a rat. So, I don't know, bro. It's just weird. We have yeah. But Crim Mac didn't even Crim Mac Crim Mac let this dude get up on him out of and, and get twenty percent for what? But Word. the dude, yeah, I don't know, bro. I don't like him. Like I don't. <laughs> Who? Crim Mac? Like uh, or China Mac? But I, I don't like China Mac at all. Is it have anything to do with like the YouTube antics or like um? Like, like any other thing like that, or is it something personal between y'all? No, I just look at him and I, and I watch his videos and I look at him while I didn't watch his videos dealing with certain topics or whatever, and I don't like him. I just don't like him. It's like he went from a Chinese gang, and then when he went to Rikers Island and the prison system, he stopped. Even he, he was too scared to even say his Chinese gang anymore, so he got pressured in the uh, like. Claiming blood in prison, bro, and then he get out of prison and do a music video or two claiming bloods, and then next thing you know, he just like run and then go to New L.A. and then be with somebody that's like a brim basher, I guess you would say. Like it's just crazy, bro. Like, nah, I don't fuck with him. You're a weirdo. That is crazy when you put it in terms, bro. Yeah. Man. All right, man. Let's uh. Let's, Let's see. In, in he's 40 something or whatever. Wait, wait, wait. He was in prison. Like 40 years old. Nah. He was in prison for like 10 years. And he still don't got like a woman or nothing. That Most nigga people are getting out of prison. They be having a woman, maybe. Like a wife. Like they have a baby. He failed to do anything like that, bro. So, and then him and Crib Mac call each other buddy buddies and. <laughs> And then Adam 22 just said he's tried to, uh, China Mac tried to start a trans label, uh, you know, a record label or something. So that's all I'm saying. It's like a little, it's, it's kind of weird with him, bro. You see what he did when Crim Mac went to jail? He, he went back to New York. Hey, man. Thoughts and prayers, man. Thoughts and prayers. I'm for real. That's, that's kind of weird to me. Like, it's weird. I already been to my All right, All right man. Man. let's speed through the last few of these topics, topics man. Because, because I, I, I do have another guest here. We're going to do a part two, bro, where it's just me. Oh, sure. I, 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 I got, got, bro, bro I, I got I, 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 I got, got two, two more, more topics, topics, bro. bro. Yeah, 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 bro. I got a whole episode with this list, bro. So we're just going to speed through these last few topics, man. You pulled up to no jump. And you wanted that fade with Al. Yeah. Yeah. What was, what was going to be your mind? You you would have done something like, like you really think, like, man, like, 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 yeah, I mean, I didn't go up there to like crash out and then there really did nothing to him because it didn't happen to him, but. Yeah, I went there, bro, because he, he be getting, like, the size himself. What was the key? Like, because right before, I was telling you, right right before, you you going going up there to to catch catch the fade with Adam, I I watched this this fucking iconic iconic interview interview with with this white white dude from fucking Hoover's. Hoover's. That's, I mean, mean, how about his shit? Like, really, and really, like, standing on business, you get what I'm saying? So, how do you go from that to... Pull it up, up to save this man. Like, 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 like what, what happened, happened in between? Because he got four million subscribers and he can't just sit there and try to like, I don't know. If it, 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 and it got to a point where it's like he trying to take me out. So it's like if he trying to go at me, then I gotta go at him, bro. I'm just being honest. And then his videos of him when he first started, he was going at every white rapper or white producer or 
anything. I don't know. It's just something about the Gilligan, but um, he a clown. I'm telling you, so I don't know, bro. He went on Bootleg Podcast, Bootleg Cast or some shit, and he was just talking crazy a little bit. So I don't know, and it was just one of them days where I was like, fuck it. You know what? Yeah, that, that, was, that was the vote. But there were like nobody really. I, I'm not going to do none of that. And that, and was, that, was, that, that was, was, was the vote. That, 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 that was at the old spot, spot right? right? Like yeah, that's that, why that, he got security now. He got a security guard and he moved. Because of that shit. Because I was able to get through the door. I could have waited to really did something I if that's what I wanted to um, do. Yeah. I mean, but you know, like he, he's a clown. He hid in there and he sent out his employee because he wanted to be beef with he me and his employee. Don't say that. He sent out AD. Yeah. And and AD in the clip, in the infamous clip. This is this is the most viewed clip on your page. Um, um AD, AD came, came out, out and he was yelling, yelling at the cameraman, and, and it sounded like, like AD was trying to be reasonable. reasonable. What, what was that conversation? Like? Obviously, obviously, like, like nothing violent happened, so, so we're not, not trying, trying to get to, to you know, know what I'm saying? saying? Obviously, obviously, nothing violent happened. I'm just asking, like, 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 what was that conversation like? What's the camera on? Is it like milk, like you're tripping, or like, or was it like, man, that's still a seven of the way? Like, what was the conversation with AD? I'm over it. If you don't know what I'm saying, I'm over it. Nah, it was just like, it was just like, um, yeah, I know so. Like, uh, hey, bro, you can't be doing that. Like, what you a you you an entertainer, not entertainer, but you do YouTube or whatever. And I'm like, hey, but he like, uh, he just talking crazy. Like the dude is talking crazy. And at this time, it was no nobody. No, I'm talking about uh. Oh, I'm 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 this is what I'm telling you. Okay, okay, okay. Adam 22 is talking crazy. That's why I'm up here, bro. But that was pretty much it. So it wasn't like no, no super animosity between you and AD. It was just more so like, bro, I just want to catch my fade. He's saying, bro, this ain't place for that type shit. And it was kind of just kind of like that. Yeah, because I don't know if Adam thought I was coming there to like do some extra shit. Do something. I don't know what he thought. Uh, yeah, 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 but that's still, I mean, I want to be, I, I don't want to show sure, no, I'm, I'm not saying, like, you got to fuck up or anything. I'm just saying, like, like, like with that, that trend, I just want to catch my face because I feel like this thing I did. And I got that nigga that's open. You know, I just want my book said it. Yeah, but he went in the back, he went in the back, though. Because I, 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 I don't know who's in the bathroom. Because that's where he ran in the bathroom. <laughs> how you know? Um, no, we did it. He ran in the bathroom. How you know he ran in the bathroom? And it's crazy. What if he ran in the bathroom? What if he ran in the bathroom? What if he ran in the bathroom? You got to understand you. I don't think that other spot was that big. I really don't. I don't know where he ran in the bathroom. I'm just, I don't know, bro. So you want to know? You know, like, the only reason I posted that shit because I'm like, what if, I don't know, what if he try to say something to me? Or, I don't know, like, uh, I don't know, bro. So I'm like, I'm gonna post that shit, but I don't really care about that video. To be honest, man, you can't see him. It's funny. I'm not gonna lie. The video, the video, video is funny as shit, bro. Like, like, it's good content. content. You, know you know what I'm saying? saying? Like, like, it is good content. content. That, 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 that shit is real. That, that shit was I know it was real. Like, like, all the, all yeah, the little I'm fake um, shit. I really went up there, but you know, like, I said, that shit ain't really nothing, bro. It is what it is. He, that's yeah. how it's still like freshly in the YouTube. Like, no, I wouldn't even do that shit because that shit is like weird because that shit will have other people like, oh, we, and, no, because he's going to do that or something. But the Gilligan, what really made it because he was trying to flip everything I say to make it seem like I'm the one saying something about him, but he's really coming at me. Like, every interview he was doing was people that was getting into him with me that didn't even have no relevancy like that on YouTube. And he was getting an interview. Interview just to talk about me. So if he's doing that, I'm going, I got to come back and attack. And, um, I put a lot of pressure on that clown. I really do. I'm trying to be a lot of real person, right but now, no, he's really shit. connected, bro. His um, Damn, his father them was fucked with. His father them got pardoned by Bill Clinton. 
Okay, he was in. The, he's he's from LA and went to Atlanta, and he was out there. Okay, okay. you can say that he's, he's from, from LA, LA and came to Atlanta and was in Atlanta for a long time. time. But he's, but he's from, from LA, LA, bro. He's from hey, LA. I, I ain't gonna lie. Uh, I we guess. Do. <laughs> I don't. I don't fuck with Big Ron. We're we're dead. We're, 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 and I'm, you said I'm heroin. I'm on mute. I'm on mute. He's, he's on heroin. He he said it was a video of him saying he was doing it in jail. Hold on, hold on. I'm not lying. All right, I'm on mute. Big Ron, he came up with that heroin. What up, yeah. man? What up, man? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You got it. He has a few DMs, for sure. Right. I mean, he said he was in Atlanta. Uh, said he caught a case out there with like a bunch of towns, and then he got. But, but he's from, from LA. But, 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 I mean, he's yeah. from LA. He's from, from LA. LA, bro. He said he's, he's, he's brick baby because his mama was the brick lady. All right. They was getting a brick baby saying his mama was the brick lady. lady is that's, 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 that's what his name is. That's what he's saying. That's what he's saying. That's what he's saying. I mean, that's, 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 that's what he's saying. saying. He, he says that. So, so obviously, if he's saying, saying it, then, then it's, it's over with. It's, it's done. But it ain't no beef. You know what Videos that be made. So why don't like on the show? I reacted to a video where he he said he used to be from Harlem. He used to claim Harlem or some shit. Then he got the uncles then made him get put on six of them. That's so, really where so are you from? I guess you're from. Where, where, where did that come from? Probably, where, where, that's what I'm saying. Where, where, where did that come from? You're not listening. Oh, he said I'm from Cali Verge because he's on heroin, bro. He said he got to be. He's drinking lean. That's heroin. Brick. No Look with heroin. Brick. I still need to end it. I'm not saying this, Brick. I still need to end the game. Milk, I'll fuck with you. He had in it. Brick. Brick is still interviewing you, but he knows the truth. He said it. They asked him a hundred times about this. He want to be a topic, so he want me to talk about him, so he could talk about me, bro. I'm just being honest with you. He got mad because I did the reaction video, bro, about him saying he used to be from Harlem, and then he got put on 60s. That's where it all came from. Him saying I'm Palos Verdes, he's talking about the other dude that got arrested. Remember a while ago, I think his name was Cameron Terrell. If yeah. I'm not mistaken, I think they was yeah. calling him milk weed or some shit, maybe. And that's what he's talking about. I'm not from no damn Palos Verde. So, so he, he had you mixed up with somebody, with somebody else. else. No, he's doing it on purpose. Yeah, he was just, I, I guess he was just he trying, trying to be trying to troll. He he troll. No, I ain't from yeah. no damn Palos Verde. He, hey. That's why I said he was from Atlanta. If he said I'm from Palos Verde, I ain't never lived in Palos Verde. He lived in Atlanta. Yeah, Long, he went to college out there. He tried to act like this, but he was in college in Atlanta. So that's all I'm saying. Word. And he only got a job, a little bit of no jumper too, because of the, because it, it was me and him going like doing a little back and forth. So anybody that I had friction with, I hired. All my suspects hired him, hired. It's a list of other people. Wait, wait, you, I, 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 you, I, I, you, I, I, you, I, 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 I,
I said because he hired him a little bit because I wasn't fucking with. Why well, wasn't when I wasn't fucking with suspect? It was just because I did reactions instead of about Almighty suspect. So anybody that he think I don't fuck with, he try to fuck with. Type shit. Yeah, it's the truth. I mean, facts. Damn. Damn. Well, see, see that, that, that's, that's why, why it's always, always good, good, you know. You know and, I'm and I'm not, not bro. bro I, I, don't I don't have, have no side of none of this shit. You get what I'm saying, like. I fuck with you. I fuck with no jumper, bro. Um, but it's always good to at, at least be able to hear both sides of this shit. You get what I'm saying? Because a lot of times it just be one sided. Um, and you know, of course, I'm a smaller blog. I'm a smaller video channel, whatever you want to call it. So, you know, hey man, maybe they see this shit, maybe they don't, and you know, maybe we able to reach some type of resolution to this shit. You get? I what would I'm never saying? fuck with fuck with no Adam Twenty Two. Never in, in, in fucking life. That ain't got nothing to do with, with y'all. He gonna fuck with y'all regardless because he gonna try to do whatever I'm doing or whatever, but y'all ain't fucking with none of them. I don't have beef with these dudes. That's not beef. I'm not worried about, like, if I go outside, I'm like, I gotta worry about these people. But I'm gonna just do videos when I see necessary, to be honest. But I don't, well, I don't really, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm not beefing with them, bro. I'm just making money. That's it, really? Yeah. I feel yeah. that. I feel that. Well, let me get to my next question, man. Um, What are your thoughts on, you know, T-Rail and back on Fig and everything that they got going on over there, man? Because, you know, I know at one point everything was all good, and then it was like some type of rift, and then every, then you pulled up one day, like you and Smack was going back and forth. Like, what, what what's up with you and back on Fig, man? Um, nothing really. We was cool, but then the clown, uh, uh, Adam 16, Adam 12, he gave, uh, t Rella Ultimatum, like, oh, you can't, um, you can't mess with milk if you're going to be messing with me. That's what he told him on live stream. Told him that. No, nah, like, I didn't see like, that. I didn't see that. Yeah. I mean, you got to do your homework. You, you, you obviously didn't do it a little... Like you, you I mean, you, but you can't better. tell me no, I ain't been researching, gang. But, I was gonna say you can't tell me I ain't been. I've been, I've been no, digging, bro. I've been digging, but, uh, I've been digging. Pause. But nah, I, I did, I did a few episodes, and then he, he just got jealous because we was doing them on Monday, and he was seeing the numbers, the views compared to his Monday show on his channel with four million subscribers, and then on this channel at the time it had like seventeen thousand, and it was running neck to neck with with his channel. So he seen that and he got nervous. He like, oh no, I gotta stop this some type of way. So after that, it was just like, um, it wasn't really no issues, but I don't know. It was just I just start seeing shit and I just start reacting to certain shit. And um, you know, people become a casualty of war and shit like that. Also, yeah, I don't know. It just I, I don't know, bro. With smack, it was just like, bro, don't be over there getting used. That was my issue. Like you over here doing photo shoots with. There's no jumper sweaters. Is he paying you? How much is you getting paid? That was all I was saying. And was that but, and, um, and was that genuine because y'all from the same area? Like, well, yeah, because you know, I but to... not yeah, I fuck with Smack. I've been I've been like having a, a a communication and relationship with the dude like since 2016 or something. So right. I mean I've been fucking with him, but that was just it, really. Um they went with no jumpers. So it's like if it's smoke with no jumper, it's only so long. I don't be able to keep you up out the crossfire, I guess. But then now they got smoke with no jumper, so now what? But that's what I said. He it's a Gilligan because he didn't even last uh seven point four months before that shit went bad. And all of them left. Cause he do clown shit. He do a lot of a lot of lot of lot of clown shit. So and all you, the shit that's been like, coming out, so, I've been predicting, like I've been told to him all this shit was gonna happen. Cause it's, he got a track record. House phone and made his first employees. I mean, he been ran through employees and did them all, and all type of weird shit happened. So all type of shit, bro. But I, I just know I, I just can't deal with that shit. To be honest. Yeah, bro. I feel that. I feel that. I mean, a lot of people gonna do whatever, like for the, all uh, to to be working on no jumper. I don't give a fuck about working on no jumper. Um, I'm working on my channel, <laughs> and. It's been doing good, so I, I mean, I'm I was never tripping off no shit like that, bro. But 
Your channel no. been going up, bro. I've been paying attention, bro. Your channel been going up. I ain't gonna lie. I seen, I seen, good. I it's seen cool. you on say cheese the other day and everything. Like, bro, people reaching out to you, like you. But you I've been, I've been, I've been, I've been fucking with say cheese yeah. for for a I know, minute though. I know, I know, but you know, we've seen where say cheese does interviews with people and then doesn't do them anymore. You get what I'm saying? I just seen the say cheese oh, interview yeah. come out with you no, two like weeks my, ago. This is like my fourth one, I think. Yeah, with him, you, with him. y'all, y'all just popped out two weeks ago. I seen it. Yeah, you said you was a nigga. <laughs> I mean, I he I, he, asked, he asked like he asked yeah, and, and you said yeah, and, and you had some. I, mean, I don't know what else you want me to say. No, you you had some thoughts. You had some thoughts on um, and you didn't say it disrespectfully. So I don't want to make it seem that way. I don't want anybody to try to click this up oh, and right. make it seem like uh, make it seem like Milk said some egregious shit because that's not what they happened. could clip it. But they could clip it and do that though. That's cool because that just don't bring like. Traction. I don't. I ain't really like caring about that, bro. I know honest. that. I know, but I, I, I just want to really just kind of, you know, have a conversation about it. Um, no, yeah, because I, yo, I I'm not even gonna sit here and act like I don't understand. You know, I grew up in a neighborhood where there was, a, you know, a white, the white boy. We can just say that that's what is the white boy. You know what I'm saying? And he growed up around us, nigga, and we called him nigga, and, you know, he said it, and it was normal. And, you know, I do feel like now we're in a different time where, um, you know, certain things are taboo, if you will. Um, certain things are looked down upon and frowned upon. Um, but beyond beyond him asking if you felt like that and you agreeing to it, you had another point of, you don't feel like black people should even continue saying the word because of how ignorant it is. Um, Everybody then. I mean, anybody. I don't say the word no more. I, I was saying that shit when I was a kid. Like, when I was younger, grew up, I was saying it a little bit. But once I started really, like, um, like growing up and shit, like, um, just getting out that little, uh, little tense but I mean, ten miles square radius, like uh, community. I mean, you start growing and shit. So I don't really say that shit, but nobody should say it. Then I'm just saying, if it's like the bad word, like you know what type of word it is, nobody should say it. Nobody I don't think should nobody say should say it. I was saying it because nobody never told me don't say it. Not when I was younger. Right. Like I, my mom and them never said don't say that. Like they ain't never told me that never. So I mean, I didn't know. And, oh, I, sorry, and, like, and that really was coming from being adopted at seven days old by a black woman. Yeah. Yeah, nobody, like, yeah. Like, so when, nobody never said that. So was there ever a point, like, in your life, and I ain't trying to get too, like, super deep into this shit, bro. I'm just asking, bro. Like, was there ever, like, a point where you had to, like, kind of realize, like, oh, I'm white? Was there ever a point like that? Or was it always just like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, you just you, if that makes sense. Yeah, um, yeah, I don't know, bro. I really don't, I don't identify as white then. I just, I don't. But I'm not, I don't know what I am. Um, but nah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I guess no, then, if that's the question. I mean, if that's how I can answer it, no. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I, yeah, I, yeah, because it, it was a yes or no question. It was it no. Was... When I when I was in jail, they was the whites was trying to stab me. So, so how did that I go? Because I know like the L.A. County jail is a little different than any other jail. Like, so in L.A. County jail is uh, woods is white boy. So is you considered a wood? Nah, hell no. I know, I know what. So you not considered no. a wood. So what would you be considered then? A other. A other, yeah. So, I know wood. Hell so, no. what but I mean, if I if I was a regular white boy and I go in there, I'd be considered a wood. That's what they is. That's what Word. they call. But not me. And that and that's not like no racial driven shit. Like that's just like what wood? Yeah, like wood, wood. No, that's, that's like, what they no, call it. So that that's that's just what they call. That's what they call they sell pecker woods. Okay. So yeah. so what happened in the instance where like let's say for example like okay boom let's just say you in LA County jail you from Hoover Crip but you white and 
there's a racial riot between blacks and whites. Like where where do you fall in that? Like how what what do you do? Like have you ever been in that situation? You get what I mean? I mean, I mean of course well, yeah, of course, but like if if I'm in that situation, like I've been in that situation where the whites is trying to attack me. So when they attack me, everybody else attack them, the other blacks. Like wait, nigga, that's what? what I'm running hold with. Hold on, hold on, hold on, wait, wait, wait. What you mean whites attack you? So what you get attacked by Pekka Woods? Is that what you yeah, mean? Yeah. Yes. And then okay, okay, because okay. Because I'm not okay. running because so I'm So what not happens running, in that situation? I'm not because running you're white. Wood. It just you you fight or or whatever you're gonna do. And that's it. So you pick unless you going unless so you're gonna be like, oh, I'm not gonna I'm gonna run wood, but I refuse to run that. I'm not running with them. Yeah. That would be like a bitch if I did that. Yeah, because you from where you from. Yeah, of course. Like, so why would I go there? Like, that. okay, like, I'm going with y'all. Like, hell no, fuck y'all. So you gotta, and, you um, gotta stand on what you stand on. That and that and that's commendable, bro. That's that's one of the things that I feel like about you is commendable, bro. Is that like, you you say what you say, bro, and that is what it is. Like, you not backing down off of it. Like you. I mean, they they did what they did, but the, but the thing is, they ain't really that deep in um, L.A. County like that. Who, they have their time. The, the, the woods. woods. You mean the woods? Yeah, they're not really like that deep. It depends. Like it, it, it varies. It have its times, I guess. So and, is that why? So you think that's why? Like when they see, um, somebody like you, and they're like, "Oh, nigga, you know," or or whatever the the white person word for nigga is, brother, I guess, brother. You you <laughs> see that we down bad over here, and you come in and you over there with them who like they look at you like that. You get what I'm saying? Like to where they yeah. judging you? Like they looking at you like that? Nah, yeah, that's how they looking at me. But that ain't just because they ain't like in L. A. County. They in Orange County, San Bernardino County, uh, Riverside. They in all these counties. They just don't like it. You can't. Uh, it's like you you can you can be white and be like a a a, a blood a crib. Whatever you could be a Mexican and be a blood crip, or whatever you could be a black and be a from a Mexican hood, but it ain't no blacks or well yeah, it ain't no blacks from no white hoods, so they not doing that. Yeah, so when they see it, it ain't, when it they ain't see no, me, it ain't it's no like they trying to they got to kill. Niggas, huh? They no, want to they want to they want to kill. Ain't nobody black from Aryan Nation, huh? Yeah, but I, <laughs> no, I'm just saying like that. They the saying. ones that's pressing. They the ones that's pressing a line out of anybody else, to be honest. I mean, it's you know, but it is what it is. It's it's like white Crips and Bloods done died out here in California, like in Salinas Valley and different um of these level four prisons out here. Damn. But you know. All right, man. Let's uh let me let me skim through. Let's see, man. What's the next uh pressing topic? All right, man, let, let, let's take it off of you for a minute, Milk, because you, you've been giving us a lot, and I want us to be able to have another episode to where we can kind of get more into, because I got more questions, bro, I promise you. I got more questions. Like, I want to get to know you a little better, Milk. I fuck with you, bro. I just, I want to get to know you a little better. You feel me? So yeah. let's get to uh, just a couple other questions, bro. I ain't going to hold you too long. Um, How do you feel about <laughs> academics? Ooh. Came out. Uh oh, you scraped my nigga. bad. Yeah, my bad. What I'm you go ahead? That was a drunk somebody, throw up that you about not, to throw up. Nah, hell no, nah, I don't drink. Somebody probably talking about me. Oh, that what it is. <laughs> yeah, I mean, my probably the, no the jump lady, around. the lady who adopted me, they came from Shreveport, so I'm like, I, Shreveport, I'm, Louisiana. I, 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 yeah, Shreveport, Louisiana. So what? So you yeah. got so you got ties to the side. Hey, yeah, yeah. That's that's like where they came from, yo. They came out here in like sixty five or sixty something, like sixty five, I think, and bought property on seventy nine and um fit. Word. So that that's your Figueroa rule. So you you really from Figueroa, like that's what you. From. Yeah, they, yeah. They moved over there in the first gen, like when before the first generation of Crips of the, even of, um, of the ism started. So when they started, they was running. They was over there with like the first generation. Uh, crib second generation, you know, shit like that. Word. Hold on, let me get my other. Uh, hold on. My boy is back. They uh, distraction finally is uh, <laughs> undistracted. <laughs> no. All right, 
you see everybody, everybody you see that fat ass nigga getting in that shit, bro? bro. <laughs> You see, you see that that ass in here? Hold on, let me let get you, you uh, let, me let me get, get you, you, let me get, get milk. milk. Uh, hold on. All right, we can we see, see your whole, whole view, view now. now. You can you see your whole, whole view milk? milk? Yeah. All right, All right. All right. All right. So, so my boys, my boys, boys had something to ask you. You get, you get what, what I'm saying? saying. They, they wanted, wanted to get into it. We've been going for a minute, milk. Hey, bro, like I said, bro. Whatever, Whatever nigga. nigga. I got, I got more questions for you. We, we gonna, gonna get, get into it, it on some other, other shit, shit, nigga. I got, I got you. you. I, 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 I want to know, know a little bit more, more but we gonna, we gonna get, get to know, know uh, we, we gonna, gonna get to understand, understand what these niggas gonna ask. What's going on, y'all? All right, so bad. All right, Bro, you smacking, chill. Come on, bro. Stop smacking in the microphone, bro. Be kind to our guests, man. I feel you, but I mean, it's a podcast. Alright, you, know you, know you know what I'm saying? I'm with you, bros, eh? You know what I'm saying? We on the East Coast with it. Um, I see. I see one of your interviews. We not. We don't get free publicity, but uh, I'm pretty sure you gonna know who, what interview I'm talking about. But you basically said like you stop going to the hood days and stuff like that. And I salute you for just the growth, bro. Like, cause I had a, I had a situation where like I outgrew a lot of dudes. That was, that was not, not really on shit, shit no more, and, and I, started I started to see some success in what I'm doing. So I, I, I really, I, I fuck with you in the, in the fact that you like, you on your own time, 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 you made a name for yourself, you, you gained, gained attraction, and, and you don't, you don't owe nobody nothing. nothing. So, so um, you know, you know, you're not, not going, you're, you're not doing the hood day shit, but you still representing. You not, you, you even said it like, you know. You know, you, know you, you getting your little checks, checks and then you, you, you know, you, know, you working, working, getting your bread, bread but you not, you not, you not, um, you still, you still represent them, where you from, your set, set and shit, but you not, you not, not going, going back to the hood and socializing and all that shit, because what's the point? And I, and I fuck with that, bro, so, so I salute you on that. Yeah, hell yeah, um, uh, appreciate it, bro. It's like, you can't, you can't have, um, two feet in. I mean, you can't have one foot in and one foot out. It ain't gonna work, bro. Um. You're going to die, and it's going to be somebody that you know, um, or it's going to be somebody that got sent by somebody you know or something like that. I didn't see it. It played out numerous times. Every time somebody uh, get on in L.A., they die or get killed. But it's not even that, bro. I, I, I like, um, you know, like, I'm, I'm older. I grew up kind of. I ain't on the same shit. A lot of my friends dead in jail or kind of like doing the same shit. Like, the Internet think I'm not... Like, the only one that's, like, not doing that, like, not outside standing around no more. I did that shit a long time, bro. Like, I did that shit already. Um, and then I can't do that shit, bro. That shit going to be stupid as fuck. I try to build a YouTube channel and then go try to hang out every day. And now everybody coming because people recording me and putting me on their stories. And now everybody trying to come shoot because milk right here. Um one from YouTube, so it's like trying to, trying get, to up get up off your buzz. This shit, shit you, you, um, you, 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 you work, work so hard to create. create. Yeah, it's just like you can't, like, bro, you gotta, you gotta elevate. Like, and when you elevate, you gotta elevate everything. When you start getting money, I see that a lot though. People in the streets, not even on YouTube or done, they start getting money, and they don't elevate. They didn't elevate. They start, they got a lot of money, got money, and still did the same shit. Hung around the low same spots and they ended up getting smoked. And there'd be some back dope weird shit going on. So I don't know, bro. Like, and I don't hang around, I don't fuck with like, I'm not hanging around like thick road with pimps and I'm not standing out there like watching prostitutes. I'm not about to hang around nobody that's doing that. Obviously, I don't got like, if I had homies that's doing it, that's cool, but that ain't nothing I'm about to be around. So, huh? You know. And it is what it is, to be honest. Like, and nah, I don't got a hood days for what? Like, what? What I'm gonna go for? I ain't never went on YouTube. I never said I did go. Never, like, I don't go. And I don't have nothing to prove. That's that's what's wrong with a lot of people on the internet. They be here trying to like prove something. I don't really got nothing to prove, bro. It is what it is. Either you go fuck with me or not. I really don't care, bro. And I'm not trying to help the feds. Like, C Mac, you see how he recorded every, every little hood thing. And he recorded 55 videos for 55 seconds on 55th Street with five individuals at San Crip. And a few months later, a few year or something later, 
Now he got a federal case, bro. And um, all that shit is gonna get used against him. So yeah. I just stay away from that. I don't yeah. want a Rico case. That's facts. That's facts. Uh -huh. I'll follow that, bro, for real. And, and uh, uh, you know, um, also, also did a little homework about, about your upbringing. You know, you know what I'm saying? I feel like um, my cold 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 be right to probably so. But you know what I'm saying? Um, I, I, I just felt like, like you, you, you can't, can't help from you, you can't, can't you literally, literally cannot help what you were raised around. You know, you know what I'm saying? saying? The people you was raised around your culture and you know what I'm saying? I I fuck with that. You know what I'm saying? Like you you keep an eye. What's up? Yeah, I mean every party. Uh, I don't know what that means. Every um, huh? barbecue, up, every um, up, every anything. Uh, I was the only white kid, the only white person, yeah, bro. Yeah. The only other white people I seen was like the paramedics, maybe like the police, and maybe some school teachers. But that was pretty much it till I was grown. Like, so I started like actually working a regular job. I got, I got you, bro. You, bro. Yeah, yeah, um, that's, that's all my questions. What are questions? That's hard. Uh, <coughs> you have any other questions, questions over there? No, I don't think so. Theo, Theo did, did you have any questions? No, I'm cool, bro. All right, all right, all right. All right. Uh, I'm going to keep going, man. I'm going to keep going. going, man. Man. Gonna keep going. going. Uh, uh, you, you still, still got, got some time, time right? You good? Yeah, we got we got a few more. Um, we got, we got a few more minutes. All right, we got a few more. All right. I mean, we got, we got, we got, like, over 7.5 minutes left, so. Okay. okay. We okay. got, you yeah, shoot your shot right now. We good, we good, good. All right, all right bet. All right, let me get your thoughts on this. On um, this. Um, Charles Charles White. White. I know, know you're not, not a, fan. a fan. Right? I am a fan. You, 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 you are, are a fan. fan. Oh, oh you yeah. Are okay, 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 okay. okay. You are a fan, okay. So, the shit that happened with him in Unghetto, you know who Unghetto is? Nah, but I just seen that shit. I ain't gonna lie. I, you seen I, know, the, I know the Instagram name because I, I seen like Charleston post some shit about that and tagging. All right, so I seen the clip. So, so I, I, how, how do you feel about, about that, bro? Like, like if, if you, you was, was to go on the show, bro, where, where it's supposed, supposed to be 20, 20 women versus, versus milk, milk seven, seven folk, folk. And, and these, these niggas, niggas pop out with, with like, like this able transgender, like, come on, bro, like, like a trans, come on, bro, like, how would you react? I mean, I probably ain't gonna go like I probably do the same thing as him, but I ain't gonna go as far as like saying all that shit he said. But he don't care. Like I, I can't. I ain't gonna say all that, that shit. shit bro. You might just say some shit. Like you know what I'm saying? Hell no, nah, no, nah, because they gonna they gonna come, and people gonna come, and they strong. They strong. And, um, I ain't I ain't really tripping off of them like that because I ain't really like no mainstream type of mainstream type of individual and want sponsors from everything, so I really don't care about them at the end of the day. They know that. But, yeah, I mean, I would do the same thing. That's that's crazy. And he might still file a lawsuit. I don't know. <laughs> he might, <laughs> might be able to win that, that shit, too. too. Yeah, but, I mean, he probably ain't going to do that shit. Because at the end of the day, he still won. Because I'm pretty sure he, they gave him the rest of the money. And he get the clip. I mean, they recorded that video, so he good, shit. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. I fuck with him though, like a lot of the shit he be saying. Some of the shit be wild, but I mean that's how he kick up the dust though. So that's, that's, I, think, I, think, I, think I think the more, more we see Charles, Charles the White, and the more we learn, we learn about Charles, Charles White, White, I think, I think the more people, people start, start to, to I don't know, I don't know appreciate, appreciate is the right, right word, word, but people, people start, start to understand, understand a little bit more what he's saying. saying. Yeah, because uh, I didn't used to like him like at first. I didn't. Well, I didn't used to hate him, but I just didn't used to like him. He, 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 um, he said some wild shit, shit in the beginning of some clickbait shit, shit to get, get attention. attention. He, said he said a lot, a lot of nasty things, things that, that I, I would but a lot never of that shit agree be real, with. Though. Like, a lot of that shit be real. Like, I don't really, I don't care about when he say shit about the celebrities, the dead ones, and then I, I don't really care about that because... But that, but shit he be saying on why he did some and all that, like, dude is, like, crazy, but... He's um he's right. Like people be worshiping celebrities and then people more than their family, and I see it. So, man, that shit crazy, bro. We'll, 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 we'll talk, talk more about that on the next one, man. I, 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 got, I got a little more questions for you before, before we get, get up out of here, here gang. Um, um, I got, I got one, one question for you. For you. So, so there's been talks that, that 
Draco the Ruler, R.I.P., has, has been, been the most impactful, impactful rapper, rapper out of, out of LA, LA in at least the last, the last 10 years. years. Some, Some people, people are saying forever. forever. The last, the last 10, 10 years is more realistic, realistic to me. me. So, so I just want to know, know like, how, you how you feel about, about that. As far as Draco the Ruler being in, in, in very impactful in the LA, LA music scene in the past 10, 10 years. years. Um, uh, I don't know, bro. I He was very impactful. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's, that's what they're saying. They're saying, like, the last 10 years, years, like, a lot, a lot of, of the rappers from L.A. have been, like, been like sounding like, like him, him kind of taking that same kind of flow, that same kind of cadence. cadence. Like, in the, in the last, last 10 years, years they've been saying, saying that Draco Rule has kind of set the stage for L.A. music. music. And I'm, and I'm just asking if you agree with that or do you think that that's kind of far-fetched? I wouldn't say far-fetched. I mean, I'm me and him had... Little words, or whatever, but oh, my oh my I, I, I didn't know, know about that. Yeah, no, I didn't know about that. I didn't know about that. My fault. No, it ain't, it ain't messy. Dude, dead, dude, dead. Rest in peace. But rest in peace, um, like the ruler. Yeah, he he was hard. I mean, you know, he he the so music so was hard think, at first. I didn't like it. Do you this before I even was doing YouTube and shit? But he, when I started listening to that shit, a lot of that shit was hard. And when he did the diss to um, RJ, it really like solidified it. Like I really start listening more a little bit, and yeah, he was hard, but yeah, I mean you could say that probably. Yeah. So do you? Because he was more of, known than he was more known than um, than Nipsey in music. Like I'm saying, musically, music. like because they because the Stink team been having a like a real presence in music. I remember I was in Juvenile Hall. And I was running in the stink team member saying, we got a homie named Draco. He rapped and woo woo, he gonna be the shit. And this was a long time ago. They been out for a while, like, yeah. Word. Word. So, so you think, think like, like, um, like, 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 like uh, you, you, you think, think a lot, lot of, of it, it don't, don't even matter, matter what hood they from, from. You, you think, think like, like a lot, a lot of, rappers of rappers from LA, LA kind of take, take his blueprint, blueprint to, to like, like making, making a song, song and doing all those types, types of beats, beats and, and making yeah, you know, using, using that, that voice, voice. You know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, heard like, somebody, I heard somebody that I know. They made a song and a music video, and it sounds just like him. I mean, whenever they say, if they say anything like Ling, Bing, Bob, or anything like that, yeah. the way they rap, yeah, I'll be hearing yeah. that shit. I ain't even gonna lie to you. Yeah. And start music yeah. and shit. Yeah. Okay. It's unfortunate that he died like that, but yeah. All right, All right, man. man. We're going to wrap, wrap it up, up talking talk about, about Milk 74, man. man. Let, Let me, me know about your YouTube, YouTube come, come up, bro. bro. Let, Let me know when you get that point where you knew, knew like, like, this is my career. Like, like I'm going to give it to my family, family off this, and, and this, this is what I'm going to do. Like, Let me know what that moment was like. And, you know, where you was at, what you was doing, you said, man, YouTube is the way. Um, I was working. When I, by the time I figured that out. Like, but, like a regular, regular job, job or what? Yeah, regular job. Where you, where you working, working at, Milk? Oh, at the time, of the, um, when I started this, I was at Hotel Figaro. I was at a hotel job okay. uh, in the kitchen. I was a porter supervisor. That's like a, a the head dishwasher or whatever. Yeah. But you really just like put away the produce in the morning, come at like six in the morning and like put all the produce away and shit. And, um, just look over the dishwashers, but yeah, I was doing that shit and I uh, started doing YouTube. But it took a while though for me to feel like that, like two years in or something. Yeah. yeah. And you but, was yeah. like, when, when, when it popped, popped off, off like, like, was, was there, there a moment, moment where you just like, like woke up one day and you like, was about to go wash the dishes? You was like, your phone was just ping, 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 ping. Like, like, you like, oh, shit, I'm lit. Was it a moment like that? Or was it more like, it just, it just took, took some time, time and you know, time. Hey, 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 tell us, us Mil, we're trying to, we're trying to do like you. We on the YouTube way, man. We're trying to build that track. track. No, nah, I mean, when I ain't going to lie to you, when I when I first started, I was getting a little check, but I was still working. Um, it did get to a point, I ain't going to lie, when I got to like 60,000 subscribers or something, it started being like, uh, like, man, what the fuck am I doing here? Now I find myself taking like 15 smoke breaks. And like yeah. the first three hours of the shift, yeah. um, I'm just walking off and shit. I don't really care no more. Cause I'm like, damn, I can be at home making more videos. 
Because at that right. time, I'm like getting the check that I'm getting from YouTube is like what I'm getting here every two, um, every two weeks. Maybe every two weeks. And then I'm like, okay, if I just stop going there and just try to do this shit like really more, I'll be good. And um, and what really helped me though too is um, that shit that happened. That um, <clears throat> that pandemic. Yeah. Cause the job closed. My job milk, closed. Milk, milk, you a PPP P- P- boy, boy milk. milk. Yeah, but I got it. I got it regular though. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, shout, shout out to PPP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I got it regular. Shout out to PPP. No, it wasn't even PPP. It was like the regular. The it EDD. Was, I got. I, I ran. I fucked with the EDD. Yeah, oh, that shit was regular though. You it was that, cool that, though. I, 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 had, I had some boys. I had some boys out there. They said they was at the ATM. They need to be a line of niggas with just these EDD cards. Cash not. Yeah. Yeah, it was a lot of that. Yeah, it was. It was it, it, it was. it was. It was a lot of people doing everything. Part you had to be careful. You just have to be on your shit during this time because you just like you got all them. It was a lot of robberies. A lot of people getting yeah, yeah. caught slipping and shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah, that shit was cool though, bro. I just I was able to do more YouTube. Yeah, yeah. I ain't had to go to work, so I just did YouTube more and kept doing that. And then it got to the point where I was like, I could just. I don't even have to go to work. All right, just go yeah. home, just do some video. And then I did. Sit, sit, sit on, on the couch. couch like, like that, that way, Craig said. Yeah, when I got one, because when I first started doing YouTube, I was sitting outside, bro. I was yeah. sitting on the ground outside, like next to a dog park, next to like a a, a parking garage, an underground parking garage, like emergency exit type shit. So I'm yeah. sitting like in the corner outside, bro. So yeah. hell yeah, I'm on the, I'm on the balcony. <laughs> uh, relaxing. Yeah. Can't run up on my. How can he? You just can't. Like I, I'm. You can't walk up on me and shoot me. Like I mean, hell yeah. Hey, so, hey, you know, I ain't gonna lie. That's my office too. Man, man listen, listen no, I ain't gonna lie. I be looking at your Instagram page, bro. bro. You, you know, know I, I be commenting your shit. shit. You don't reply to some of my comments, bro. I be in your comments and shit. You be outside. You be walking the dog winter. You be walking your little Frenchy winter. Yeah, I'll be outside, right. bro, but I can't, I can't show you where I go every day. Like, I just nah, can't, nah, I can't show, do that. You show, I show, you 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 show. Yeah, I just can't, I don't even be really caring about that, because, like, people go, I see a lot of people, bro. I be, like, taking pictures with a lot of people, seeing a lot of people. That's every day, bro. People think that. But where they be after eight hours a day? If they be somewhere at work or something. Yeah, Cause yeah. when I'm on the camera, I'm at work, bro. They think I'm in there all day because it's video after video. But I might do six, seven reactions in one, um, uh, in one sit down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I might do like might two reactions, smoke a cigar a little bit, do two more, hit some weed, and then like do two more and then edit the motherfuckers and do some more. My whole day consists of this. You know why? Because this is a job. The more you work. See, this ain't a job like a sat, like a, like a, like just a, you get $10 an hour and that's it. This motherfucker is like, how much ever work you, like if you had a job that was like unlimited overtime and you was on, um, and you was exempt on your taxes. So it's like, if you do all the overtime, you're going to see all the money. So it's like, it's, you work more, you see the money. So I'm in here working in his algorithm. So people... You don't understand. I gotta work, bro. So, but it just they retarded and they ain't doing shit and they never understand, bro. That's why you gotta stay away from people. Like a lot of my comments, but <laughs> I don't care about that shit. I love it. To be honest. That's, That's right. right. That's, That's right. right. Well, listen, well, listen man. man. Milk. Milk. Seven, Seven fold. fold. Milk. Seven, Seven fold. fold. We, we appreciate, appreciate you so much, bro, much, bro for, for pulling, pulling up to the chill, chill spot, spot, man. man. We gonna, we gonna get, get a second, second one in. in. We, we gonna, gonna get, get really, really into, into the details of shit, shit, bro. We gonna get into it, man. I, I, really I really appreciate you taking the time, time out of your day, day you know, showing, showing us some love, bro. bro. And, and um, I can't wait to do this again, my boy. Yes, yes sir. sir. Hey, 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 Bill, man. Hey, hey, keep, keep your head out, bro. I fuck with you, man. For sure, bro. Y'all too, bro. Y'all gotta keep y'all foot on the gas with the little um. With y'all little shit, but, the big, um, shit. big big podcast. podcast. Y'all gotta do big it on YouTube and, and all that shit too, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, 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 so,
I'm gonna hit you like when I promote this shit, bro. I'm promoting from my main page. You know what I'm saying? I'm also promoting from the chill spot page. And I'm gonna have you on YouTube. So I'm gonna just, you know, I'm gonna just tag you on everything, bro. Fuck with me, bro. I'm gonna promote this shit, 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 bro. Chill, Chill spot, spot, gang. Fuck with you, Appreciate it, man. All right, bro. The, the fuck? fuck? Still still here. Here. Yeah, man. So, you know, that was another episode of the Chill Spot, man. B Rex in this motherfucker. I got my boy. Oh, whoa. Yo, yo. Sit down. I swag when I surf. And watch me surf and swag. I'm on that Nautic. Alright, so. <laughs> yeah, the camera. Hey, B-Rax, appreciate you for having a nigga on the show tonight, bro. Hey, man. I ain't gonna lie, appreciate you, Yo! Bro. Y'all nigga know what's going on, man. It's another episode of the Chill Spot, man. It's your boy, B-Rax. I got my boy, Theo, in this bitch. Y'all hey, know what's going you, on, gang. man. Appreciate you. You know what's popping, man. So, I got my guys in this bitch, man. What's I got that Aaron word, Ryan, man? You know? My boy Sean in here. Well, hey, oh, back to me, back to me. Back. <laughs> Chill spot news, man. <laughs> Welcome to Atlanta, man. We are. <laughs>